Hello, everybody. Welcome to another stream of Dinkum. Hang on a sec. The game's coming up. It just takes a couple seconds. There it is. Um, before I know this, don't worry, the sound will come in through here in a sec, too, as well. Um, <clears throat> before we jump into today's uh, day two, I guess, of Dinkum, I want to go over some patch notes. There was some patch notes uh, yesterday. There's a hot fix. And I'll just go over them in case people are interested. So this is a message from the dev. It says, thank you to everyone playing Dinkum. It's crazy to think that my little game is in so many hands. Uh, I've been getting a bug reports and suggestions, and I'm noting them all down. For now, I have some quick bug fixes. More updates to come soon. Uh, let's see here. The updates include fixed an issue when swapping slash breaking your fishing rod, but sometimes lock the game. Um, fixed alpha croco. Uh, being visible to a client in multiplayer. Fix the walls in the airship to prevent falling out of the world. Fix some texture bugs in the deep mines and on the quarries, which we have no idea about. <laughs> At least I don't. Fix daily tasks asking you to sell items on Sunday when John is closed. Added a wide screen UI option for ultra wide monitors and then other, other minor fixes. That's basically it. That's hot fix number one for Dinkum in its uh, development life, uh, which is kind of cool. So there we go. Uh, we have that taken care of. Now, is it just me? Or now, what the heck is the sound? Where's the sound? Hang on a sec. Let me just find the sound. <laughs> Where's the sound, dude? Uh-oh. Hang on a sec. Let me quit out the game. Let me see if I can find the sound. Um, You guys can hear me okay, yeah? Just give me a little heads up. I, I think my... Uh, you know what? It's not It's not the game. It's definitely the... um. <laughs> it's the update that went through my PC yesterday. Uh, sometimes when the, uh, when the PC updates, it just... Dude, it just creates chaos here on the front there we go that should be fixed all right let's relaunch the game here we go there we go hey daniel dunn how's it going hey patrick how you doing all right we're just gonna relaunch it and then i should be able to yeah there's the sound hopefully you guys can hear that too there we go hooray all right um yeah so if you guys are watching and you guys are watching this on the replay you guys are watching this live um and you guys have picked up the game and played the game already. I mean, you guys put enough hours, just maybe is maybe is more than I have. Please, suggestions, tips, tricks, all the above is always welcome. Always welcome uh, for the chat. Hey, thank you for subscribing there, Richard. I appreciate that. Um, suggestion tips are always welcome here on the channel. So, yeah, just know that. Because um, I'm sure there's probably some of you guys that have probably... But way more hours than I have. But let's go ahead and load it into the game. That is us with the... <laughs> they actually have like the profile pic with the headphone and the green bandana and the sweater. Oh, that's very cool. Nice. That's a nice little touch to that. That's really good. Hey, Fungus Head, how, how you doing? Hey, Matthew, how you doing? Hey, Purple Panther, how you doing? It's going to be good. Got seven weeks off. That's incredible. That's incredible. Seven weeks off. What are you going to do with your freaking time? I tell you. <clears throat> All right, let's see here. Uh, we're, what we were doing when we ended the last uh, last stream, we were actually messing around with the uh, with the whole garden idea. Oh, we got mail. What the heck? There's a turkey out here. They're migrating. Oh my god, the turkey and the and the dingo, right? That's what the dogs are called in Australia. Well, that turkey's gonna get it. No, but we were uh, really kind of you know doing the whole tomato crop thing and we got to do like a little bit of the coop thing too that's gonna be fun all right so fletch uh let's see what fletch has to say for us today so two cans uh you've been working hard and i'll tell you what it hasn't gone unnoticed because you've been increasing your skills there is a new level of logging license available to you come and see me to apply for it very good thank you fletch hey paul wall how you doing how's it going paul wall <clears throat> watch you for seven weeks i don't know <laughs> i don't know about that you might get annoyed <laughs> no <laughs> appreciate that daniel um purple panther says i'm designing a pregnancy journal while listening to you oh that's very lovely that's very lovely i love to hear that oh toad skin oh the wolf killed the turkey and a toad all right that's new stuff for us we'll definitely take on that yeah, so we have like the apple trees going. We have, I believe, what is called the Kwandongs. They are also going as well in the uh, banana trees. Those are also going. I wonder if you can, you could probably tame these dingoes, right? Yeah. Oh, look at them everywhere. Look at them go. And then we have up here our tomatoes. Yeah, our tomatoes are going to be growing. I kind of need to find a, like a spot to put the, um, the, the bird coop, you know? 
We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out for sure. I'm not too worried about it. Let's go talk to everybody and see how everybody's doing today. Uh, nobody's visiting us here on Friday. This is Friday the 13th. I just realized. Look above my head. My God. John, I, I would be running too. <laughs> right, let's go talk to Fletch first. Hey, Fletch. How you doing? We got to pay off our debt today. That's another big goal. Paying off our debt. What can I do for you today? Um, let's chat. Uh, let's see. Do you have a job for me today? Hey, would it be too much trouble for you to catch bluefish? Um, I don't think it would be. Last time somebody asked me to catch a fish, I denied it and then I caught the fish. So this time, I'm going to say no problem and we're going to try to catch that fish. Here we go. Now, I don't know exactly where the uh, the fish does spawn. Like, I don't know what biomes or what kind of, like, I'm still learning that as we go. Hey, Devin, how you doing? Hey, Shorty, how's it going? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're yeah. doing good, Paul Wall. That's very good. Very good. good. Glad to hear that. Glad to hear you're doing well. <clears throat> uh, let's see here. Let's look for a look at the appliance. Uh, not the appliances. The license again. All right. Let's see here. Logging license number two. Now, what does that do? Allows the holder to craft a better axe. Well, yeah. I'm kind of for it. Yeah, that seems pretty good to me. Let's. Yeah. Because we've had a couple of issues where axes were um we're we're kind of we, we, we didn't have a strong enough one jesus god what are you doing hey matthew holy crap 50 super chat god lord help me what are you doing matthew big ups what are you actually doing are you are you sure <laughs> are you sure about that holy crap thank you matthew i appreciate that that was very very generous of you very generous generous indeed danielle and i thank you I thank her. I thank you on behalf for her, if that makes any sense. My God. Good Lord. Thank you, Matthew. Big ups. Jesus. All right. Friday the 13th, indeed. Copper axe. A more advanced axe. All right. Hey, Jules. How you doing? Morning to you, Jules. A keg. Leave stuff in there for way too long. Oh, we got a keg. We can craft the... the I love it. Yeah, a nice keg. Cool. We're probably going to need hardwood for that keg, huh? Yeah? That was very, very, very... Um, <laughs> very... Very kind to you there, uh, Matthew. That was very big. Thank you very much. My lord. Um, so let, let's see here. Let, what can I do with a with a uh, keg? Not what can I do, but what can I, like, what do I need for a keg? Palm wood planks and an iron bar. Iron bar, which is something we have not uh, discovered yet that we would like to discover eventually. Very good. Woo! Um, Matthew, I almost pissed myself there. Okay, let's go talk to John. Yeah, let's go talk to John. Hello, John. Um, good to see you. Welcome to John's Goods. How can I help you? I would like to chat with you as well. Matthew, what the heck? Hey! Hey! Sippy 18 became a member. Hey! You, now you, 50, 50 Super Chat, now you gift in five? Are you actually sure? Who became a member? Jesus Christ. Thank you so much, Matthew. Big ups to Matthew. Big ups to Matthew indeed. My God. Uh, became you have a logging license. Would you take like five palm wood planks? I could do that. Yeah, very very generous. Thank you. Thank you You're gonna get the duplicate here. I don't know why OBS. I think they're still trying to figure out how to do gifted memberships on their alert systems Jennifer Critch became so you might yeah, you might you might get a couple duplicates there There it comes right there. Oh look there's the wheelbarrow Fuzzy Poo became a member The 30k 30k. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Cool. Cool big ups there's the mine pass so the only thing about the mine pass is that if i buy the mine pass i obviously can go to the mine does this show the mine on the map or do i have to Canada discover the mine right hey thank you for, so much for the people that are picking up those memberships as well you guys have emotes now and uh access the videos and live streams on the on the channel i i apologize for the duplicate there's nothing really much i can do about that all right so Five wood planks, palm planks. I can easily do that. There's no problem. That was big ups. Way to go. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you so much there, Matthew. Appreciate that. Uh, so let's go with five. Can I split this? Let's see here. Let's split. Uh, well, I guess I could just like take it from there. We'll just take that. Uh, toad skin, that's new. Tin ore. Uh, we were cooking with some tin ore. Uh, when I mean cooking, I mean, you know, we were using it. Some gum, gum wood. Uh, an old key, a lot of old keys that we have, definitely for sure. There's the hoe. All right, let's put the hoe. We're going to need to buy another or build another storage thing. Yeah, we're going to need to build another storage thing. Start organizing some stuff here and there. Yeah, big ups indeed. 
Matthew coming in hot today. Good lord. What what's today? A Friday? Friday the yeah, today's actual Friday in real life. My lord. Um <laughs> I wanted to chat. Oh yeah, yeah, here you go. I got it, yeah, sure, as well. Will you give me some pants, John? I would really appreciate if you gave me some pants. Wow, you've really found it. You're the best. Uh, here, take this. Furniture? Pilot goggles? Do I look like I'm a guy that needs pilot goggles? Probably. Let's see here. Let's, <laughs> does this take... Actually, it probably takes away my, um, my face mask. Yeah, it does. Yo, <laughs> dude, I... <laughs> I am I am someone that needs pilot goggles. That's incredible. Thank you, John. Probably yeah, that that <laughs> That looks pretty good to me, dude. Oh, that's really good. <laughs> oh, I'm having too much fun with this game, man. All right, there we go. Okay, nice. All right. All right. All right. So yeah, uh, I would like to organize just a little bit of our inventory today. Let's do that. Uh, palm wood, maybe. Uh, we just need to build more. I'm gonna go ahead and build more. Oh wait, don't don't I have a crafting table on me right now? I should, yeah. I have the bird coop. I thought I built a crafting table. Maybe I was in the process of crafting a uh, uh, a table. Yeah, probably was in the process of of one because I was gonna put one in here. That was the whole idea uh, yesterday. I think I need mangrove sticks to do that though. I think I need mangrove sticks to uh, to to make a uh, crafting table. You will need to build the mine. Okay, so that's a good that's a good uh, good tip there. Thank you for that. So let's see here. Uh, I was in the process, but I needed the. Oh no, I didn't need no. Uh, I didn't need no. I, th I thought did I not? I thought I built one. I just want to make sure I see here. I don't want to duplicate my build, but I could have swore I built one yesterday, but maybe not. Okay, all right. So let me just go ahead and get some tin. And then I'll make some nails, and then we'll get a crafting table up into the house, which will make it, you know, at least stop going back and forth, back and forth type thing. Uh, I would like to get more furnaces, too. Have that going. A couple of those. Maybe even more campfires rolling, too, as well. Now, what would happen if I put the toad skin on the on the campfire? Can I do that? I cannot do that. Okay. That would be terrible. <laughs> okay. Uh, we want the raw drumsticks on there, though. Yeah. There we go. Cool. All right, we'll let that roll. Yeah, nice, cool. <clears throat> Back again, how much is the loan? I'll go ahead and take a look at the loan for anyone that's wondering. $42,000 or 42,000 dinks is what we need to do today. Yeah, eventually, we'll, 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 we'll definitely get it done for sure, yep. You actually got a deed for a mine and place it where you want. Okay, so you get a deed for the mine and then you place it where you want, good shout. Okay, good, 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 cool. All right, so all this area here, we could definitely clear out. This looks like prime real estate for the future. All of this, right there, <laughs> clear it all out, level it all out, and I think that's where a good expansion towards the coast would be. I think that would be neat, right? Having a little coastal, um, you know, whatever, you know, giddy up. <laughs> we'll do something like that, maybe. All right, there's our tin that we've been waiting for oh so pati patiently. Let's go and make those nails, and we can make this, uh, what is it, make this, oh, did I already have a tin bar on me? I guess I already had a tin bar on me. Crafting table, yes. So let's get that going. Cool. And then let's go make that at our place. And then we will also... Um, th be, by the way, people were laughing at me yesterday. Uh, <laughs> after the stream, people were like, Oh my god, I can't believe you, uh, you went five hours and had no idea that you could change the camera. Your finger died. It did. Okay, so let's go in here, add a little bit of this. Change that out. There we go. All right, no more back and forth from now on. Right, let's just place that bad boy right there, please. Perfect. And then we want to add a little bit more storage. Perfect. Oh, there we go. Now we're cooking. We are cooking. Let's just put that uh, right there. That's fine. I'm not going to organize everything right now. I'm just going to put things uh, in just to get rid of our inventory so that we can go out a little bit. And then later on, we'll, we'll definitely um, organize this stuff and uh, do all that, right? There we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. Uh, keep the blue moon. What I need to do is I need to go fishing a little bit so I can maybe get lucky and get that uh, one fish, that blue fish, two fish, three fish, Dr. Seuss fish. Uh, no, the blue fish for Fletch. That's that's what we need to do. Uh, we'll put the fences away too as well for now. And put the bottle brushes away and we'll keep on to the food. Hold on to the butterfly because we're probably going to sell the butterfly anyways and then everything else we can keep on. Okay, nice. Oh. I'm really liking this game, dude. 
I am. I'm really liking this game a lot. Alrighty. Hey, yeah, Shield, how's it going? One way to easily earn money is by using the metal detector, then selling the stuff that since the uh, since the treasure respawns. Very good, very good. Yeah, we went through a lot of um, we went through a lot of uh, digging up yesterday, and somebody also mentioned in the comment that uh, you don't need a pickaxe to uh, to bop this oil drum. Uh, you can actually use a spear if you wanted to. So look at that. <laughs> <laughs> so if you if you have a pickaxe that's broken um, and stuff like that, you can definitely just spear it. There's stuff down there. There's stuff down there. Hang on a sec. It takes full concentration here. Okay, that was a tin sheet and an old contraption. There we go. Yeah, so you can just spear it if you really wanted to um, and, and bop it that way. So that's good to know. Uh, I would like to get some copper. I wonder... If we'll, if we'll ever be able to uh, craft our own tools. I would have to say maybe, maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Um, I'm not sure. I don't know if the economy in this game is supposed to make it so that you have to buy tools instead of craft tools. But yeah. All right. So, so good. Uh, let's go see if we can get a blue fish for Fletch. And see if we can do a little bit of foraging. And then uh, make a little bit more money. A little bit extra money. I mean, 3000 I think, that we have right now is just not... You know, it's not cutting it. It is raining, as you can see, so I don't know. It does put a mood on it. No, I feel like it does. Hmm. Okay, so the scythe gets more seeds. I did not know that. See, this is all that I had not know. That's a good shout. Uh, scythe gets more seeds. So if we need more seeds, get the scythe. Dog goes after uh, frog. No. All right, let's see here. We're looking for a blue fish. And I, again, I'm not really sure where the blue fish spawn. I don't know if it's the ocean biome that they spawn. Oh my god, what is that? Is that a fish? Do you see that? That's a jellyfish. Okay, nope, that's a jellyfish. I thought that was like a big fish. Oh, I got kind of excited there. Yeah. Hmm. Have I paid off the town debt? Nope, we are definitely doing that right now. We are 42,000 away. So that's something we need to do is do 42,000. Just so anyone who is aware... Um, that might be new to the channel. I do not play this game. I do not play games on the channel typically off camera. Look at this. I always play my games uh, live or recorded. Uh, so I do not do any off camera stuff just so we can keep a little bit of continuity uh, between streams and between reactions and things like that. I don't want people to feel left out as if maybe um, people that can't necessarily afford the game sometimes. Uh, I'd like to, you know, play along with them, maybe, and uh, learn as I go, and learn with them. Some people like to, some people do learn through the videos and streams that I have, and um, we learn together in a way. So, I do not play this game offline, I do not play any of my games offline, um, just for, you know, the sake of learning, <laughs> kind of. That's why we have chat, chat's incredible, right? Yeah. Oh, look at that. Oh, baby. That is actually loud. Okay, so we got more hot cylinders. We need a lot of... Okay, that's our first green board. We do need green board, and we do need bright wi wire for the um, for the tower. Yeah. I would like to get a copper axe soon. Now, there's a fish. That looked like a giant, like, catfish. I don't know where he went. I think he might have dipped out. I don't know if they just despawn. I think he did. We'll continue. You can craft them? Oh, okay. Very well. Now, what happens if I go to this? Is this anything special? <laughs> like standing on like a bunch of coral? No? I thought maybe harvesting them. Or maybe you can mine them. Maybe not. Oh, oh. There's a toad. Now, there is this. This stuff is actually stuff we need uh, for the future. So, I'm going to go ahead and get some of this. I think this is the mangrove stuff. Yeah. So I'm going to pick up some of this. How's it going, Ick? After you found a place where a lot of ores spawn, you can mark that place on the map. The loot will respawn. Yeah, we kind of actually uh, learned about that a little bit uh, yesterday. How some uh, some loot, or not loot, but some uh, ores definitely are respawning as we uh, go through the game here. I'm, I'm really uh, starting to pick up on that. There we go. Don't think I'm gonna get the blue fish. I was hoping to get the. Oh, there's a fish. Where'd he go? There it is. There it is. There it is. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. We got it. Concentration. 
Hit it once. Hit it. Yo, there we go. There we go. Let's go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, God. Bluefish is south side of the island. Good, 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 good shout. What is this? Caught a tarpon? That's the first time we've ever caught a tarpon. Cool. Nice. So you say, uh, bluefish on the south side of the island. We will take a look at the uh, mission here, or in the map. So, whoops. Let's see here. Would it be in this biome? No. Would it be a river fish or an ocean fish? Tarpon, though. That's new. Oh, yeah. We should probably, like, get our metal detector out here, too, as well. There we go. See if we can find anything in this big sanded area. You'll be able to repair table. Oh, cool. You'll be able to repair stuff. That's good. That's good to know. That is good. Good to know. I'm doing well as well. Yes, she you. Sometimes you can find meat in the ocean from the shark attacks. Also, I found crabs and yabbies on the river bottoms, which can be stored. Unlike the other food. Oh, that's interesting. Uh oh, there we go. There we go. Let's send it. What is that? Oil drum. Okay. Yeah. Oil drum. Now, I something happened yesterday, and I want to test this theory out. Something happened. When I uncovered an oil drum yesterday, I dropped dirt on it, and I think it came up to the surface. So let's see what happens if I drop dirt onto an oil drum. Look at that. Came up to the surface. I guess we grew it. <laughs> and then we can just send it. There we go. Green board. Perfect. That's what we need. Take the old gear as well. Nice. Uh, these birds are back. And um, they are dangerous. Not going to mess with them. They weren't there uh, towards the end of the last stream, though. Oh, John does pay a lot for the electronic parts. Very good. We have quite a few of extra parts that we could probably uh, do some with and probably give away to him. Not give away, but sell to him. I'm not giving anything away to John. Let's do a little bit of mining here. Not mining, but um, detecting. This is where we found a lot of good stuff yesterday. This big field. That's really what we're at, what we're at here. We got to just kind of earn money, find money, get money. Now, I wonder if he would take a lot of good quartz. I don't know how valuable quartz is. It seems like to be a lot. Like here, in this area... Too many quartz. So much quartz, right? So we'll do this. Oh, that was just a contraption. Okay. Old contraption. John might do something. We have a lot of old contraptions, which seem to be like engines. So he might, like, want to take some of that. We might have to sell some things to him. There we go. Another oil drum. And I think a spear is actually a one hit on this. Yeah, so a spear, instead of using your pickaxe, you can spear it for one hit. There we go. Nice. Like, we don't need all these headphones. That's another thing. Devin says, I hate when I hate when I watch a series of a game. One video, they're trash and have nothing. Then they do off-cam stuff, and then the next video, they're masters and everything. <laughs> I know. Sometimes I, I, I get that. Yeah, sometimes they get that. Like, um, you know, they, they do, like, a bunch of... Like, some people do a bunch of stuff off-camera, and they, like... You come back, and they're, like, their village is big, and they kind of explain to you what they've done. Let's continue. It's getting a little late now. See, we're going to get like a bunch of old parts now. And I'm going to sell them. Not all of them, but some of them. To Mr. Uh, Mr. John. I love this metal detector thing, though. It's really good. For sure. We'll do one more hit. One more hit. One more hit and we'll run on back. Oh, there we go go add that and some more old gears yeah so we have plenty of old gears all right let's head back oh wait we have something for our yeah there we go archaeologist thank you cool <clears throat> 42k 42k that's the magic number now if i have all these old parts and i had been hoarding them right i had been hoarding them yesterday seems like it's not too too difficult to get these uh these parts after all so if we can get them for a premium price from john that would seem good perfect maybe even a after all 
Perfect. Oh my god, gator. I did not see the gator. The gator just took out a, I think, a, a frog. Oh my lord. It's getting dark, man. The, these these rainstorms, these thunderstorms, they make it dark. Okay. We're home. <laughs> Does anybody in chat know the map color where I found mangrove trees? Uh, well, we just actually, you, we, uh, I don't know if you saw, but we did get some mangrove trees on the edge here. So these, I think these brown tiles right here on the edge of the river, that's where you're going to find your mangrove. Because we picked up some mangrove uh, today already. Because we definitely need the sticks. Hello, John. I did not find, oh, sorry, it was Fletch. Fletch needed the bluefish. I did not find the, you know... Fletch of blue fish. I'm trying to still figure out where I want to put a um, put a, a coop. I was thinking about putting it near us, but I'm kind of thinking like in the future when we have to upgrade the house, how many tiles will it expand? Kind of thing. Hmm. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab a bunch of uh, like. Of these parts for the morning i don't need the engines for right now i guess the old contraptions i don't need them at this moment so maybe getting rid of those uh get rid of some of get rid of some of the gears maybe half of them that would be okay we'll get rid of that um that old wheel the toys we can get rid of because you know we haven't need to use them yet i'm gonna hold on to the smooth slate because that seems to be a little bit harder to get hot cylinders seem to be a little bit harder to get and everything else we'll just we'll just keep i guess tin sheet tin sheet is easy to make it just takes resources is all is all there we go we'll go in here okay we're all we're all good all right let's go lay down there we go all right friday the 13th is over we did not die cheers to that so we did get a um i want to look at something here Okay, we, you can't really see it because we didn't do any of it. I was say we did get a, a, a mail, you know, a message saying that our axing was a high enough level. Now, I wonder what our axing is at in order for us to get that, like, to unlock that, uh, li that what is that, that license that we can get? Like, how high is it? Let me see here. Let's go and check it out. So, if I go to my details... So, um, it must have been a foraging, maybe a foraging. If we got that to level 10, maybe that's the reason why we got, uh, the ability to get a higher license in axing, maybe, possibly. I'm not sure. All right. So we do have a visitor today though. Clover. Yeah. Yeah. Go check on Clover. Now, I'm pretty sure we had Clover already. So that's good. We're kind of like getting people back in, right? Coming back through. This is the clothes shop. Oh yes. Oh, Clover. You're looking very dapper. Oh, how are you? Oh, do you have camo pants? Oh, my lord. Uh, I, wouldn't, I would like to chat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, do you need anything? Oh, you have a logging license, right? Could you give me five gum wood planks? Absolutely. I'll do it. I got you, Clover. This is what I'm looking at, though. Buy camo pants? Hell yes. 2600 Absolutely worth it. Very good. There we go. Cool. <laughs> we finally got pants. Oh, look at those shoes. Those are black sneakers. I do like the black sneakers. I can't wait for you to move in. I love this hat, too. Look at that. Adventurer hood. Okay, okay. Let's let's put that on now. Bam. Bam. Yeah, now we're stylish, dude. <laughs> hey, JW, how's it going? All right. Um, John, we'll wait for you to get back to your shop before we talk to you. Uh, Fletch, how you doing, Fletch? Uh, anything you want us to do for you today? Let's chat. Uh, got a job for me? Blue Moon Butterfly. Oh, I have that, actually. Uh, how does 837 sound? Yeah, deal. Okay. So, instead of giving me, like, you know, some cosmetics or furniture, she gave me some money. She kind of paid a little bit, maybe more than half. No, actually, she didn't pay half. A little less than half of our camo pants. So, there you go. All right, let's go into John to see John. Hello, John. How you doing, buddy? I would like to sell you a few things here, John. Uh, I would like to sell you some headphones, a contraption, a tin sheet, a uh, blue moon butterfly, 
I do not want to sell you the green board. I do not want to sell you the bright wire. I will sell you the hot cylinder. This, this, the tarpon as well. Uh, I'll keep on to my cosmetics for now, just because why not? Get rid of that stuff. And let's see how much money. Let's get rid of the flowers too and the figs. Let's see how much money you're willing to give me for all of this stuff. Don't cheap out on me, John. Don't cheap out. Let's see. What the heck is... What is wrong with you? What is actually wrong with you? Are you sure? Ladies and gentlemen, we paid off our debt. God damn. <laughs> Holy crap. Oh. I'm doing good, super nerd. I'm doing good. How's your day? You got a job for me? River bass? I guess I could try to get a river bass. No problem. Thank you so much. Yeah, no, thank you, John. You did not cheap out on me. Entrepreneur, yeah, you freaking think? Holy moly. All right, so let's go talk to Fletch and tell her that um, we just dropped it like it was actually hot. Fletch, we're here to donate. 42k? No problem. <laughs> uh, just all of it, please. Can I just do all? 42211. The town is now debt free. Thank you for your contribution. No problem. And we still have 35 left over. Okay, Fletch, let's look for some licenses. <laughs> what can I do for you? I want to apply for a license. All right then. Oh no no no! Sorry, not not that, not that. The other thing. My bad. Uh, let's talk about the town. Let's see. What exactly can I help you with? Any deeds? Okay. Here are your current deeds. Hello, Minnie, Millie. How you doing? Good to see you again. Museum deed in the bulletin board. A place for the community to post news and requests. Um. Yeah. Obviously, the museum deed seems a bit better. Um. Like the way to go, right? But like the bulletin board, does anybody have the bulletin board? Is the bulletin board worth it? Is it an easy, like quick get them? Let me know. Let me know what that's all about. Let me know if, if I should like, you say, you know what? Pass on the museum for now. We'll do the bulletin board. I know there's not a lot of community. Like there's only just us two. Maybe I should just do the museum and just get it out of its way. Hey, Carson, how's it going? Get a new furnace. Good shout. That's a good shout. That would go by really fast for our ores. Should I do the museum or should I just do the bulletin? It's 10k debt for the bulletin board? That doesn't seem bad, yeah? Do the bulletin first, then the museum? Alright, we'll do that. Yeah, okay, 10k. That's not bad. We can just bop that out of the way. All we need is some gum wood and nails. Yeah, can we do this? Okay, so we're going to apply for the bulletin board, yeah? Just so you know, this will put the 10... No, we will not have a debt. Can I just pay you up front? Oh, don't worry. We will pay it off in no time. There's a donation box here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do it. All right. I'll give you the deed so you can decide where to place it. Once it's placed, check the deposit box. Yeah, 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 yeah. We got this. We got this, Fletch. No, no, no problem here. Okay, let's get that paid off immediately. Yes. Donate. 10K. I don't know what gave us that much money. That was crazy, dude. That was very crazy. <laughs> I mean, there was only like a little bit of parts here and there. I don't know, man. I, f I don't feel like I deserve 75k after that. Uh, oh, I guess we can also... Can we, like, get the other thing going, too? The museum? What can I do for you? Um, let's do... The museum now. I can do two deeds at once, yeah? Probably. This is gonna need gum wood, plank, 125k, uh, palm wood, and bag of cement, which I haven't learned how to do yet, and then a lot of nails. Yeah, we'll do that. Okay, so we're going to apply for the museum deed. Just so you know, this will put the town in 125k in debt. Uh, yeah, we'll pay it off in no time with our freaking metal detector, dude. It's going to be good. Let's do it. Great, we're all set. I have an idea where to put the museum. Now, the only problem is, it's going to be a very dangerous place to put it. And I'm willing to risk my life for the museum. <laughs> I am. Okay, alright. First things first, uh, bulletin board, please, and thank you. There we go. I, I feel like this is kind of like somewhat of a center in a way. So maybe somewhere right here. We can move it in the future if we really need to. I kind of want to put it like like that that direction, maybe. 
Yeah, like that direction, possibly. Yeah. Maybe right there. Oh, you know what? Let's see here. You know what? This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to take this out of the way. And instead, I'm going to put the bulletin board right there. There we go. Is this a good place for the bulletin board? Uh, let me just make sure it's facing the right way. Yeah, okay. It's facing the right way. Yeah, that's good. Hit me there. Nice. Cool. So we got that going. Uh, very good. Read it up. Town announcement. Bulletin board. Uh, town announcement. Our town now has the bulletin board. Please feel free to leave any reminders, announcements, or requests here for the town to see. Cool. Nice. That looks pretty good. Some really good indeed. I'm gonna cook something here. I forgot what, um... Oh, I think she needed palm wood planks. Yeah, I think she needed palm wood planks. There we go. Let's see here. Tasks. Collect gum wood planks. Okay, good thing I checked. <laughs> gum wood planks she needs. All right, very good. Like that. There we go. Uh, cook this, please. There you go. And come over here. And what we'll do is we will just simply, I guess, use a little bit of this. This will give us three for now. Get that going. Hmm. Some quests you'll be able to do. Uh, some you won't. That's on the board. Okay. Let's go ahead and chop down. Is this the gum nut? I can't. Like, we should probably get rid of that termite nest, too. I'm only up to day 12. Still have town debt to pay. Hey, if you do anything what I just did, just like go treasure hunting for like maybe a day and then just sell all the contraption and the, you know, the, the, uh, the components and things like that and you'll be on your way. <laughs> you'll be on your way indeed. There we go. There we are. It's a very lazy way. I could have went and like, you know, got the gum wood planks, no problem. But instead, I, you know, I didn't. Hey, Tech, how's it going? Don't be sorry. All right, let's see here. Um, let's go grab that. And then, um, yeah, give it to her. We'll talk to John. Hello, welcome to Thread Space. Oh, that's what it's called, Thread Space? That's cute. Right, here you go. I did. Will you give me, like, maybe money back on my... Can I get a rebate on my camo pants? <laughs> there you go. Yeah. You're the best. Yeah. What is she going to give me? Money? New crafting recipe. A well. She got us a well. Water from the deep down. Now, would that help us with our... Um, can we use that well for our watering can, maybe? That'd be kind of good. All right. Sounds good to me. I'm all for it. Okay, so let's go talk to John, I think. No, no, no. We already got from John, right? John John has this going, right? Yeah, he wants a river bass. So river bass. Um, five is a town. So attract five permanent residents, which we're, that's going to take a little bit of time. Uh, we just need three more people. Okay, river bass. I don't know if we actually got to Fletch, though. Did we do Fletch? Fletch gave us money. Yeah, we did the butterfly, I think, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Okay, cool. Um, let's go out and about and see if we can uh, get some more of uh, treasure so to speak because that was a lot of money <laughs> oh actually no instead what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna risk my life believe it or not I'm gonna risk my life because I want the museum to go in a certain spot I want the museum to go up there I do now I've never done this and I know there's like baddies up there right if I destroy their nest, right? I'm assuming I can destroy their nest. If I destroy their nest, they shouldn't respawn up there anymore, right? That's my idea of it. How many are up there? Looks like just one. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, hit him once. He's going to charge. Okay, this is going to take full concentration. Okay, that hurt a lot. Okay, okay. Okay, go for it. Go for it. Okay, back down, back. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, that's gonna hurt. That's gonna hurt. Our health is low. There we go. Ah! Got him. Okay, good. Great job. Those are big ones, right? Those are big, big drumsticks. There we go. Okay. So, the idea is to... And I'll, I'll make this a pathway. I'll make sure to, like, lower the hill and all that. Because I want this big little island... 
with the museum on top and like having a giant staircase going to the museum type of thing you know would that be cool i think that would be cool okay get rid of that so no more of them spawning up here anymore that's the idea here Yesterday, I had to get out of the live all of a sudden, and I couldn't get back into the live already had ended, sadly, but I'm happy that I can watch the live today. Oh, very good. Very good. There you go. All right. Cool. I like this. Um, maybe, if anything, we can kind of clear off the brush. This would be perfect for the scythe, right? This would obviously be perfect for the for the scythe. Go grab that. <clears throat> okay, so where we're going to go... I mean, trees could go, right? How do I want this? Okay, I have an idea here. Let's go like this. I don't want it to be, like, too, like, too weird. Throw that down there. There we go. Nice. I want to have a little bit of flatness. Yeah, I see, I see, I see the vision, I think. Yeah, I do see the vision. Now, <clears throat> which way for the stairs to go? That's the real question. I was thinking of having the stairs go that way towards the town instead of this way over here. So I'm not sure. I think for now I'll just put the, the dirt over here. Um, yeah, let's get rid of that stone there. It's egg season in spring, so they will spawn eggs in the nest during the spring. Okay, so egg season during the spring. That's a good shout. That's good to know. Eggs during the spring. Let's get rid of these palms. Kind of clear this out. I'm tempted to go back and get the uh, and go get a uh, get a scythe, maybe. You know, build a scythe. I could probably just use the spear, but that would be cool. Yeah, you like that idea? Heck yeah. Hey James, how's it going? I just got the game because you played it and it looked like a lot of fun and I love it. Yeah, yeah. If you, it, like I said, I've kind of like hit this. We've hit we've hit this a little bit, by the way. Hello, Otaku. How you doing? Um, <clears throat> we've hit this um, hard, you know, and I'm sure everybody who's playing this game on YouTube has probably hit this hard. Uh, if you never, if you were never able to get a chance to play Animal Crossing because you didn't own a Nintendo Switch, uh, this is it, folks. This is, this is your time to kind of get into have a variation or a version of of Animal Crossing here. And I don't think it should be like I don't know, I don't think it should be like frowned upon. I have seen people be a little upset over the fact like, oh yeah, it's just exactly like Animal Crossing. Well, okay. But like nobody else is making it like there's a lot of Stardew Valley S games out there. There's a lot of Harvest Moon S games out there. But there wasn't really ever like another Animal Crossing s game, so I don't know why people gotta be all upset about it, but I enjoy it. I like it. I'm liking what I what I'm playing here. So, hmm. chickens lay eggs year round. We're just doing a little bit of manual work. <laughs> Manual work that we actually haven't done, really, in this game. Except for maybe the farm. The farm was a little bit of a manual work. There we go. It gives me a chance to kind of like... At least... Oh, a fern seed. It gives me a chance to at least catch up with chat. Doing this activity. James is on break right now. Hey, Sherry. Sherry. Sherry says, hey, they're so excited to catch you again playing a game uh, that looks fantastic. Oh, very good. Very good, Sherry. Glad you could catch one. Uh, catch us again. <clears throat> kind of throwing this dirt randomly down there. There we go. There we go. We'll, we'll probably bear, build a staircase right up. Really, all I need to do, <laughs> thinking about it now, it's like, I'm going to have this deed... For this place up here and then I'm gonna um, have to come up here and like drop everything off so building stairs somewhat quickly and kind of filling this out right 
It's better to get it done now instead of like planning it somewhere random and then like having to cost money to move it later, right? Plus, it would give me a chance to kind of learn a little bit more on the stair, uh, stair placement in this game. There you go. But this is the idea, having the museum up here. So, yeah, we're going to put the museum somewhere up here. <laughs> I'm doing good. I'm doing good. I'm having fun. I'm having a good time playing uh, playing some dinkum. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. You pay off any more debt? We yeah, we we paid off debt. We definitely have paid off debt. Yep, that's how we're able to uh, build the community board, which we've done, and uh, we also have um, what is it? Uh, oh lordy, um, we've now have the uh, we have another debt. We have 125,000 debt for the museum now. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Oh god, can't put that there. There we go. Okay, put that back. You have stairs yet? No, I'll have to. Uh, I'll have to build them. I haven't built them yet. I haven't crafted them. Go. All right, we'll go ahead and do this soil mover. Awesome. Very good. Throw that through. All right, I know this is a long drawn out process, but it will be worth it. And I don't know, like, I don't know the size of this museum. I'm thinking it's going to be like a two by two, maybe. That's my guess. And then I wonder if the museum will ever expand. You know, I don't know if anybody ever played Animal Crossing New Horizons. But you know how, like, the first year we had the museum and then, um, then there was the update right like months and months and months later where they added more to the um museum i don't know if that's going to be the case going forward in this game might be okay so let's see here let's clear out some brush there we go there we go awesome there we go i know this is not ideal we should have the scythe 100 percent but uh this is just what we have for right now go all right let's see what we have here now okay, let's pull out the deed pull out the deed oh we didn't put the cooking table down either okay the museum deed holy crap <laughs> remember how i said um <clears throat> i wonder if this is gonna be a, a two by uh two by two that is definitely not the case here okay so what i'm gonna do is hopefully i can like pan off to the side here okay Wow, good thing I made a big enough area here. So, it's either we have the entrance go that way, or we have the entrance come from that direction. It's like, it could be that direction with our backs to that. Yeah, I kind of like that. Or like that. I kind of like this. Yeah, I, li I like this. Why do I like this? Uh, because you can kind of do a path here. You can go stairs down from towards the village, and then you can have stairs go off the other way, or a path go off the other way. So I kind of like that. Let's put it right there. So this is a good place for the deed? Absolutely. There we go. Nice. Uh, so like I said, you can have stairs that come through here, and then you can have a path going that way. And then we can see it in all its majesty off from the distance from the town. You can see the museum as it builds up. Now, what are some things that we need to put in here? Let's see if we have any, like, anything at all. Do we have anything? So we're going to need cement. we got to learn how to do cement. We're going to need some nails. I don't think I have anything to put in there. No. Going to need some palm wood. Easy enough. And some gum wood as well. Easy enough. And then pay it off. Cool. Nice. So from a distance, I guess you could say. Let's actually take out that termite hill. Or nest. From a distance... It's nothing because it's, you know, a bunch of fences. But I know you, you probably can't see that on YouTube, but it's, it's going to look good. It's going to look good. Trust me. All right. Trust me. I'm a freaking doctor. Let's get some of this done. Yeah. There we go. Even though I think I have plenty in my in my chest. But yeah. Deforestation. Practically. Makes sense. Good position for the house. 
Did you put a fence around your house? Not around my house. Not around my house, but I did put a fence around um, my tomatoes. Yeah. Oh, okay, so buy a grinder from John and grind stones to make cement. Good shout. Good shout indeed. Very well. So the grindstone. Grab a little bit of that. That should be fine. We'll put the rest in our chest. And John... Nothing to say to you. <laughs> Nothing to say to you at, at all. <clears throat> so we don't have a... We don't have like a fence gate to this yet. But um, somebody yesterday mentioned a good shout that, hey... Uh, maybe when you unlock higher licensing options or fence gate options, you'll probably get like better fences. You'll probably get a uh, fence gate option. Still waiting on those uh, trees down there, like the apple trees, the banana trees and things like that to get going. And then we still have our coop that we have not yet uh, put up yet. Put up or shut up, right? Gosh darn it. Why did I do that? Did not mean to do that. Put the sleeping bag down. We'd like to have a regular bed eventually too, but oh my god. Okay, E to rotate. Place. There we go. Okay, lay down. Call it a day. Sleep until tomorrow. In order to make the cement, you'll need to buy the grindstone from John. Got it, got it, got it. Look at that, 75k. So, just anybody <laughs> wants to know, how did we get 75k? We got it from just those materials right there. That doesn't even seem like a lot. But we got it all from there. There's the egg. Oh my god. Look at the big egg. Okay. It's still raining. My lord. I want the rain to go away. Go away. I want to have a nice, like, uh, sunny day. Uh, good thing it was raining yesterday, because I totally forgot to water my tomatoes. I haven't gotten to that habit yet, so the rain watered the tomatoes for us, so holy crap. Thankful, thankful that was going on. Yeah, I gotta get into the, um, into the mindset that, um... We need to start doing that. We need to start uh, watering our crops now. Okay. Uh, gum log. Do we have any gum log anywhere? We have some. We have hardwood. Do we not have a lot of gum log? Or is it in the other chest? It's a little bit of gum. Gum wood. But not gum logs. I'm going to put that in the other chest. Put that there. Yeah, so gum wood. We gotta get more gum wood. Interesting. Okay. That's alright. Some man more mangrove sticks in there. Uh, green board we'll put in there. Bright wire. Actually, I'll take the bright wire and the green board back, and I'll install it into our um, into our tower out there. Tropical grass seeds. We'll throw those in eventually. Stone. Um, gum nut. Termite nest. We could probably sell that. We don't need no termite nest. To, to, to palm trees. Yeah. Add that stuff over here. Oh. There go. There we go. And there we go. And there we go. Nice. Cool. All right. Put that there. Looking good. Looking good. Now let's just go ahead and throw our blue shorts in there. Do that. Let's go like this. There we go. All righty. Oh god, John is closed today. You're right. Good lord. <laughs> Crap. Uh, photo request. John? I would love to see a photo of an amber chunk. But photograph? Okay, so this must be the thing where it's like, you're going to get quests that you can't do. This is one of them. I have no idea about photography yet. All right. In the meantime, we can kind of help build out this um, uh, museum, right? So we can't buy any tools today. Nope, cannot buy any tools today. Oh, that gave, oh, that gave a, oh, nice, a nice little beehive. Hello, John. There we go. Oh, very good, very good. The beehive, well, we can't sell it to him anyways today, but the beehive definitely gives us Definitely gives us some good money, I, I feel. Because last time we sold honey, I felt like that was like the most money we ever had. All right, let's do this. So I want to go out and see if I can make the big bucks. See if I can get a bunch of new...
treasure, new compartments, or not compartments, components, and then tomorrow, just basically drop it all over John's head here. And be like, hey man, pay off the museum. Let's see if I can get away with this here. Oh, yeah, building the stairs out too. Yeah, we gotta do that. Gotta see what it takes to build out stairs. Maybe there's a way to eventually sell everything by mail. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if uh, Animal Crossing ever got to that kind of thing. Hey, Gooby, how are you doing? Howdy, howdy, indeed. Ever got to, like, uh, I don't know if Animal Crossing ever got to, and I'm not trying to, like, say if Animal Crossing didn't do it, this game's not going to do it, but, um, you know, I don't know. <laughs> by mail. I, I don't know. Maybe. Who knows? All right, so we did that. So those are done. So the only thing we need to do is the uh, cement and the nails. We can at least do the nails. Ooh, Royal Bluebell. Nice. I haven't seen the Royal Bluebell yet. What have I been up to? Um, I have been uh, creating content. That's what I've been up to. <laughs> Recording videos, doing live streams. That's what I've been up to. What have you been up to? Hey, Var Varmelian? Varmelian? Thank you for the uh, subscription there. Appreciate that. Got a blue bell or what the heck is it called? Blue moon. Blue moon. Okay. We can at least talk to these people and see if they want a quest done. So let's do that first. What can I do for you? No, what can I do for you? I need anything? Oh, you have a logging license, right? I think you could bring me six mangrove sticks. Easy. We can do that. We have that. Okay, we'll definitely do that for her. And then John, what would you like to be? What would you like to get done today? I gotta sneeze, dude. Oh my god! No, no, I accidentally. Oh, I asked him to hang out. Oh my god, I'm gonna sneeze. Uh, but I think this is supposed to say maybe or AB, unless AB is an Australian thing. But maybe that's supposed to say maybe. But maybe we should get to know each other a little bit more first. Yeah, I agree. Um, I don't know if you could. Um, if you didn't have relationships like love romantic relationships in this game would you catch me a fly i'm gonna go out so i guess we could possibly oh my lord all right so let's get the mangrove sticks first for fletch i'm gonna clear out all these bushes out too eventually i could not go into my own house um mangrove sticks there they go Doing all right in the orb working right now, <clears throat> but I'm able to catch the stream. Oh, very good. In Sardew Valley, I think you can. You can do, well, you can do the box shipments. Yeah, you can do the box shipments. <clears throat> okay. Um, what can I do for you? Let's do the uh, mangrove. <clears throat> man, I, I thought I was going to sneeze, man. I had that coming. Yes, I do have the mangrove sticks. Thank you so much. No problem. Here you go. Oh, you really found six mangrove sticks. No problem. Take this. Furniture. Hinka polka dot shoes. Now you give me shoes? Kind of interested, though. Hinka polka. <laughs> no. Sorry. Would have been cute for maybe somebody else, but for me, no. <laughs> there we go helpful nice all right so john just wants a fly i don't i mean who would ever want to fly let's be real here uh, let me go ahead and make some inventory room and then we'll head out and see if we can find more treasure and see if we can find more um you know anything really and then we can deposit this into the tower as well those things i'm gonna put the cooking table i should put it down really i should put it down put the mangrove sticks back uh, Pinka Polka will put back. Those will put back. I want to sell the termite nest. Gum nut will put back. Uh, there's the honey. Let's go here. Put the shoes away. There we go. And then what I'll do is I'll just throw in the cooking table somewhere down here. Did that tree grow back? Oh no, I put the palm trees there. <laughs> Let's put the cooking table like. Uh, let's put it right here. There we go. Cooking table next to the fire. That seems about right. Okay, let's go out and see what we can do. See what we can find. Oh, my lord. 
Oh, actually, hang on. Let's go to the uh, tower first. And then we'll go out and about. Go out and about. I was just searching your... I was just watching... Sorry, not searching. I was just watching your Soda Story videos and thought I would check it to see if you were streaming. And boom, you were. Absolutely. You love to see it. Love to see it. Hope you're enjoying that Soda Story game. I'm really enjoying that Soda Story game. I think it's really fun. That's another, in case anybody in chat or anybody watching does not know, the Soda Story game um, that we're playing. Soda Story uh, Brewing Tycoon. That's a game that is developed uh, by another Australian as well. So that's an Aussie game as well. So sh the Aussies, man, they're coming through. They're dropping some bangers. They are. So we'll just place some things in there. Okay. We need another hot cylinder. F. We need another green board. And a, a lot more wires. Okay. There's a cockatoo. I, I, do, I am a sucker for the forageable sand dollars. I love... Danielle and I used to go... Years ago, we used to go out and do a lot of uh, sand dollar hunting for sure. Fast food. All right, thank you for subscribing. Uh, we used to do a lot of sand dollar hunting, and it's super, super hard to do. Um, especially when, like, the seagulls. Yeah, the seagulls, man. The seagulls will, will get those sand dollars for sure. I don't want to go out that way again. If I go out that way... Yeah, I want to go out that way. Back to, like, the, uh, the open area where... We could potentially get... I did not check both ways before crossing in case there was a shark. Um, I want to go out this way so we can potentially have like a nice open area to... Ooh, Rupu. To um, dig up. Dig up for sure. That's a big body of water. That's going to take a little bit of time to cross. There we go. So what's the point of this game? Uh, really just kind of like building up a uh, settlement, uh, civilization. Yeah. Um, we are on this island, you could say. And um, we want to bring people to this island from a uh, dystopian that we were in before. Kind of simple life. Attract people to a simple life. And do a little bit of farming, sim managing, all that. Yep. Let's do it. Yeah, yeah. Shiny disc. All right, sure. <laughs> Oops. Gavin says, no romance on launch, according to the dev. Okay, good shout. I wonder if, uh, if they will be able to, um, or if they're going to go and do uh, and bring us uh, romance. In the future, that'd be kind of cool. I, if there isn't no romance, it's no big deal, really. It isn't. I mean, you don't have to have romance in all uh, farming sims, right? In a way, I don't think I would be upset if there was no, uh, there was no ro romance. There we go. This is the money maker right here. We've learned that today. This is the money maker. This is what we need to do. This is what we need to do. To pay off our hundred and twenty-five thousand dollar debt. There we go. Whoa, what is that? Pick up. Uh, excuse me. What is that? What is that? Do I crack it? Pick it up. I can't put it in my inventory. No. Uh, it looks like a possible gold ore. What is this? Anybody know what the heck this is? What is that? Should I take that back home? Is that important? I don't know if that's important or not. I'm gonna walk a little bit away. See you, James. How many towers are on the map? I've only seen two. I've only seen two. It's Amber. Oh. 
If you find another tower while exploring, don't forget to mark it. Yeah, good shout. I think there was one over here that I forgot to mark off in this direction. It's worth a lot of dinks. You can weigh it. Oh, that's the what that's what you weigh with? Oh, I see. Oh, F. This would be good if we had a wheelbarrow, no? Maybe? Possibly? I'm gonna take this back then. And hopefully not get ran over by a kangaroo. I don't want to lose this. Yeah, I definitely don't want to lose this. It's worth a lot of dinks. I don't know if it will despawn, right? Because we can't do anything about it today. If I put if I put it down outside his store, will it res will it despawn? <clears throat> Maybe to be the safe bet is to like leave it in the house or the tent. Let's leave it in our house, and hopefully it won't despawn or anything like that. There we go. Okay. Wow, look at the trees grow. Nice. Okay, let's go back and get more stuff. Maybe put it in the grinder? <clears throat> yeah, I was wondering what that waste scale was in John's, uh, in John's, uh, store. Let's see if there's anything special here. Nope, okay. We'll continue a little bit more on. And we'll send it over here. Now, I am trying to be more conscious of the fact, like, the dirt changing colors. Trying to keep an eye. Try to, like, really memorize uh, terrain and biomes. Oh, baby. That's what I'm talking about. So, don't hit this with a pickaxe. Hit it with a spear. The only reason why I say that is because it takes longer with the pickaxe. <clears throat> so, that's good. Got some more stuff we can sell. The John. John's going to get a lot. Should probably get these uh, cacti fruit too. They say cactus figs, but... You know. Tomato, potato. Potato, potato. Potato, tomato. Tomato, potato. Potato, potato. Oh. There we go. <clears throat> I'm really interested to see how the... Um, how the uh, museum looks and when it's fully built. I really like the museum in Animal Crossing. I did, especially when you got the uh, whole fishing and like the uh, all the all the different kinds of fish. That was so good. Oh, there's another one. Okay, got it. Got it. Got it. That's two ambers, dude. <clears throat> Cherry says, now that you have played for a while, do you have any advice for setting up new towns? Like, what buildings should be near each other? Um, no, and not, actually not yet. No, I don't, I don't really have any recommendations. It's more of a, um, <clears throat> personal preference wise, I think. Uh, however you build your town, however you build your city, uh, there's realistically no wrong way. Um, it just depends on how you want it to look. And, uh, you know, that, that's basically it. There's not a wrong way uh, to build your town. Uh, the only suggestion that the game makes is, like, don't build things so far away from each other. Like, don't build your town center over there, and then maybe, you know, don't build your town center right here, and then your house way over there. That's not ideal, but, um, you know, as far as placement where the buildings go, there's not a there's not a right or wrong way to do it. It's just preference-wise. I put mine on the hill because I liked it. I put my museum up on that hill over there because I liked it. I thought the shop right there looked nice kind of across the way from the, the base tent or the town, you know, the town tent. <clears throat> it's up there too. I kind of want to fish a little bit more too. Did I check over here? I might have checked over here. Metal detector wise. Yo, one thing that we haven't done is actually sh uh, check the shore, like the sand. People go to the beach all the time, right, and do this. Yeah, absolutely. Duh. <laughs> there we go. 
Leo says another tuber broke a large rock with a pickaxe and got a gem out of it. But that rock looked nothing like the one you just found. Oh. Okay. Good shout there. That's a, that's a good, uh, that's good to know. Uh, <clears throat> future reference, too. Kind of be on the lookout for bigger rocks. Oh, there we go. This should have been the first thing I thought of. Like, people going to the beach with metal detectors, right? There we go. Got a bunch of old keys still. Still trying to figure out what the old keys go to. I like this better. I like I like I like doing the metal detecting on the beach a little bit better. Because we can get sand dollars also. <laughs> there we go. Oh, oh, there we go. Perfect. Yes! Okay. So this is a a trunk or a chest. I don't think this works, but I'm gonna give it a shot. So, would this be like this and then go like this? No, okay, so this is strictly just bopping it. Sorry. Sorry. There we go. Hot cylinder, old toy, glass bulb, glass bulb, old wheel. Nice. Very good. We're getting better luck out here on the beach, man. Holy crap. Oh, nice. That's what I needed. I did not want to bury it. <laughs> okay, we need that. We need that. So we're going to get rid of the uh, termite nest. Okay, we're going to get rid of the termite nest. But we need that wire. And then I think there was like another one like right here. Right there, yeah. Look at that. Back to back. Another old drum. Sick. Okay, old springs. Uh, let's go ahead and drop a... A billy button. There we go. And then a sliding handle. That's new. Oh, it's a mouse. <laughs> it's a mouse. I kind of want that. So we'll get rid of the uh, royal blue bell. Every night. There we go. Cool. All right. So we are running out of energy a little bit. And uh, we're going to need to give John a bunch of things. Now, we did not get a fly for John. Sorry, John. Couldn't get you a fly, buddy. But we got a lot of other stuff for you. And hopefully we get a lot of money going into the tomorrow. Take a look at our tomatoes up here. These take about six to eight days, I think it said, to grow. So we just have to wait patiently for that. Also, are you playing with a mouse and controller? Or a controller? I'm playing with mouse and keyboard. Yeah, I'm playing with mouse and keyboard. There we go. Let's go cook these for tonight. That's an amber chunk. You will put it on the scale in the store. John will weigh it and tell you how much he will pay for it. Good. We have a lot to give to John then tomorrow. All right, right there. I love how big these uh, legs are. <laughs> okay, so the key opens rooms in the deep mine. Good shout. All right, so the deep mine. Once we figure that out, once we get that all going, we can, uh, we can do more there. All right. So it's good that we're hoarding all these keys that we're finding. This, these legs, these bigger legs, take a little bit longer to cook. Just give me a sec. Love my goggles, though. Um, cement and nails. Cement and nails is all we need for the uh, <clears throat> for the museum up there. And stairs, I guess you could say. And stairs. So, gotta buy a grindstone from John. It depends on how much money we get tomorrow. Hopefully we get a lot of money to pay off maybe the museum and maybe even get the, um, maybe even get, uh, what else? Some tools like the grindstone and things like that. I love the little light by the uh, community board. That's nice. Any ores that I have on me? I don't think so. Still need to put up the bird coop. Yep, still need to put up the bird coop. I'm gonna wait for this last leg to get cooked. Don't think I have anything else to cook as far as legs wise. Nope. No other legs. I do want to level this out. I don't like that being on a different level, but it's fine, I guess, for now. It's fine. I don't know if there would be like a massive tool that will give us the ability to kind of uh like i like do multiple 
uh, dirt tiles at once. I'm not sure. Maybe. All right, let's go to bed. Oh, big amber chunks coming through. Oh, it's going to be great. Tomorrow's going to be a good day. All right, John. You get ready, buddy. You get ready because it's coming. We're dropping this thing on you, dude. All right, no dinks earned today. It was a Sunday. Everyone was at church. It's all right. Okay. Someone is visiting. They have a pet, uh, a, a dog paw. Uh, maybe they sell animals. I don't know. I, but I saw a dog paw on their sign. Okay, let's grab the ambers. First things first. Good thing the shop is right by. Hello, how are you, John? You see me coming with these ambers? Yeah. Okay, so we actually today need a... Uh, it's, it's a sunny day, finally. We're going to need to water our tomatoes. Let's just put that over there. Let's go water our tomatoes. There we go. All right, let's put this through. All right. There we go. Cool. Simple, easy, <clears throat> done. Let's go see our visitor. Who is this? Can I read this first before I walk in? Visitor source. Okay. Nope. Oh, Irwin. Hey. Oh, is, that, is that a chicken or is that a duck? It's a baby chook. Oh, my Lord. Okay. Red alert. Animal food. Animal feeder. Irwin. Hello, buddy. Good day, mate. The name is Erwin. You don't tell me. Uh, your cans, absolutely, right? Um, wonderful to meet you, mate. I'm Erwin. Oh, I already told you that, right? I'm visiting Cans Toby trying to find a home for some beautiful little creatures. If you have a handling license, come by and talk to me. There's nothing more bonza than looking after a beautiful little creature. I hope you can help me out. Oh, my lord. Uh, yeah, you know what? Can I actually do you a favor, though? Want to chat? Got a job for me? Would it be trouble to get an eel-tailed catfish? That absolutely would be trouble. It's in the mangroves? I'll, I'll say yes, just in case, if I have, like, a wild uh, spring up my butt. But, you know, we'll do it then. But, my lord. John, you got to get to work. Come on, it's 8 a.m. You're late. You're late. You're late. Get in there. Okay, John, I'm weighing this. Ah, I see you got a nice amber chunk there. Looks like it weighs 2.20 kilograms. How does 33,000 dink sound? F yes. Thank you very much. No, thank you, John. Oh, dude, we're about to drop it. The museum's going to be paid off before you know it. Here's another one. That's a nice amber chunk. 3.85 kilograms. Give me even more, sir. 57,000. Wow. 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 Uh, and I haven't even sold you anything yet. I just gave you the chunks. I got a bunch of stuff in my inventory. Show us what you got. Uh, well, I got some honey for you. I got some shells. I got some flowers. I got some... No, we're not going to give them the mouse. Maybe. No, I'm going to keep the mouse. At least... No. You know what? No. No. Get, get rid of the mouse. Get rid of the mouse. Don't hold on to stupid stuff. Um, butterflies. Game toy. Ten sheets. Old gears. Everything here you see, you can have it. For the most part, not the hot cylinder. I'm going to keep that. Um, button board, glass bulbs, old wheel. I'm not going to give you the key. Everything else. What do you What do you say? 31K. Not bad. I'll take it. Very good. Thank you for visiting. No problem. Okay, so it looks like um, the museum is going to be paid off. Well, this is this is wonderful. Now, how much is a grindstone? That's a furnace. That's a barbecue. Stone grinds stone grinder is only 10k. I will buy that. Will you give me a discount? Okay, now I'm starting to sound ridiculous, right? I'll take it. He did say uh, put rocks into there to make cement though. Should have read that dialogue. Alright. I I, I want to get the furnace, but I don't think I can afford the furnace yet. Yeah. Let's pay this bad boy off. Uh, he wants a catfish. No, wait. Did we ask him what he wants? No, I don't think we asked him what he wants, huh? No, we did not ask him. So we got to go back and ask him what he wants. So savvy shopper. There you go. Nothing wrong with that. Uh, amber cash. Yeah, here's a milestone for selling amber. Thank you. Sick. Okay. Um, let's pay off the debt. 
currently $123,000 in debt. Please consider donating. Yeah. So one, two, three, nine, six, seven. Confirm. There we go. Town is now debt free. Thank you for your contribution. No problem. Um, now for you, what would you like done? Uh, let's do chat. Uh, anything new? Oh, you have a logging license, right? Think you could uh, help me out with five palm wood planks? It would really help me out. Absolutely. Do I have those on me? I do not. All right. That's okay. We can go grab them. Wow. I can't believe that. I really can't believe what we just did there. <laughs> okay. Um, right. Um, uh, cement. Okay. We need cement. And we need nails. We have a community request. Probably something I can't really do. Um, Alpha Jackaroo. Alpha Jackaroo has been spotted at this location. This is a very dangerous alpha animal. It should only be taken uh, on by an experienced hunter. Hunt down the al Alpha Jackaroo using its last known location for 18 grand. I'd be able to do that. Possibly. Investigation request. I swear I saw something fall out of the sky the other night. Maybe someone can go check it out. Yeah, I'll do that. Hey, uh, Zakuna, how you doing? Back for some more Dinkum. Yeah. Can't get enough of this game right now. Right, right, right. It's really fun, isn't it? Okay. Um, so, yeah, let's, let's pull that out. Stone grinder. Where to put it? Really, there's not a right spot to put it so we'll just put that right there for now so we want to put stone in there right rock stone let's try this out let's test it out grab some stone and i should be able to just throw it right in there yeah then we'll be able to make some uh, oh we got some tin ore from that uh, we'll be able to make some cement yeah hey sky wolf how's it going there's a guy, the science guy, who pays more money and gets more crafting ideas for the shiny disc. Oh, okay. I think his name was Franklin. Get a lawnmower crafting recipe from him. Oh, nice. We haven't met Franklin yet. There we go. That's good to know. I'll look out for Franklin. There we go. Look at that. Now, I don't know how long this takes. Oh. <laughs> I guess uh, that long. So that's one bag, right? Yeah, so that gives us one bag. So we need ten of those. Okay get more stone i think we actually have some stone in the in the house but we could bop out these stones because we want to clear this area anyways in the future so let's do that <clears throat> hello fiji isn't jackaroo just another word for a shepherd i have no idea <laughs> we've all seen kangaroo jack right starring anthony anderson and uh oh god what's his name is it Braden frazier is that his name <laughs> you have a shiny if you have shiny rocks you can grind them and it has stuff inside oh okay yeah yeah we do have that yeah we do have the shiny rocks okay let's give that a try too yeah we'll, we'll give that a, a roll quartz crystal nice hey debbie how you doing good to see you again hope you're doing well all right let's cook this up eat it up giant cooked giant drumstick there we go throw that in there all right, so yeah, let's go get that shiny rock and tr test that out. I think I want to get more of those grindstones. Maybe a couple of them. That'd be cool. Uh, let's go. Let's go. Right there. Yeah. Shiny stone. There's all the stone that we have before, but. Let's see what we can get out of this. I'm doing good as well. Yeah. yeah let's see here. Shiny stone, shiny stone. Where did I put my shiny? There it is. Let's try this out. Okay. What if it just pops out a giant amber? <laughs> and then we just uh, do it. <laughs> hey, copper ore. Nice. Oh, and it does more than just one. Nice. Tin ore, too. Nice, and it keeps going. Oh, right. I've already played today, but seeing this, I have to I have the urge to play now. There we go. Cool. Let's get the... Uh, we'll get the cement uh, going first. Need to pay off all that debt after all. 
Ah, <laughs> uh, you got you got that urge. You got that urge to play, right? You got that urge to play. I am in debt in Dinkum. I, I should probably turn it on and go uh, and go finish off my debt, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Only five more, and then what we'll need to do is we'll need to get um, some nails. So I should probably go get some tin ore real quick so we can craft those nails. Because we're going to need two tin ores to do so. Um, there. Uh, where is the tin ore, baby? Is it not in this one? Hey, maybe it's not in this one. Hey, we have some nails there. There's the tin ore. That's what I was looking for. There we go. Do a couple, like, multitask here. All right. And we'll build this museum up. Get it going. Like that. Push that through right there. Let's do that. There we go. Now we're multitasking. And we'll split the tin ore into the grinder. Probably not the best thing to do. How much do we have now? Seven. So three more. I still can't get over this whole, like, Dagwood dog. The name of it still cracks me up. There we go. Nice. So, grinding down. Grinding rocks down into powder. Here's a milestone for doing that. Nice. We have quite a bit of uh, adventure points, so we could probably spend a little bit on our licenses soon. That should be our last stone now. And then I'll put in the shiny stone to kind of do it while we're gone. This is going to give us a, a tin ore eventually, right? That's 10. That is 10. We'll do a little bit of shiny stone now. And then, uh, now all we need to do is get this tin ore done. And then we make the nails, go up to the museum, build the museum, which actually, now thinking about it, we should probably think about stairs. What kind of stairs? Stone stairs, cement stairs, palm wood stairs. Now, this is a tricky one, of course. I kind of want to go... I don't know what I want to go for my, uh, for my, for my town. I don't. I think cement stairs would look good. So maybe we make some cement stairs. So now we're going to meet, we're going to need to make some more cement. Damn it. That was my bad. Here we go. Yeah, I think cement stairs would look bad best for now. I'm trying to think like in the future, like, oh, what kind of, um, what kind of path would you have during the, uh, like, throughout the town and stuff? I guess cement's not bad. Probably think about also, uh, cooking a little bit of apples, if we can. Maybe some cactus figs. No, let's not do cactus figs. That hurts your health. <laughs> let's not do that. Can we cook an apple? There we go. One more, please. Go. Push that to the side. And then just one more tin ore, then we can make the nails and go on from there. Does that give us better apple? So that goes from 5 to 10. Nice. And it actually cooks really fast, too. Brick paths would look nice, yeah. The uh, the color of the brick paths would actually kind of go well with the, uh, with the rest of the environment, right? The dirt and all that, the color of the dirt. Come on, we're waiting for the tin ore now. Yeah, the color palette. That's that's exactly what I was thinking, yeah. I was thinking like doing wood paths for when we expand out towards the beach. Having like a nice wood path for the beach. Maybe like a boardwalk-esque. There we go. There we are. Let's go inside. Create these nails. Okay. Oh yeah, we have the keg. I forgot we had the keg. We can do stuff with the keg. Yeah, honestly, until I figure out, yeah, I, I'm kind of the same way as Skywolf. Like, it's hard for me to put paths down until I figure out the layout of the town. Uh, that's why I'm kind of like, uh, cement, cement stairs is like the default, I'm thinking, you know? For now, at least, for the museum up here. I just don't want to, like, have to go around all the time. This is the, tr the struggles and the troubles of having it on a hill. <laughs> But it looks good, nonetheless. There we go. This should be everything, yeah? That, and that, and that. So, there we go. All the required construction materials have been deposited. 
The debt is paid. Now all we need for it to do is simply just be built. Sick. Good. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay. So that's done. Now what we could probably focus on until that museum is built probably focus more on our bird coop and our fencing off and trying to figure out where we want to put the bird coop at. Now again, I'm not really sure, but I guess what we'll, we'll, what I'll do is I'll put the bird coop in a temporary release, like a temporary spot and just keep that there and then in the future probably move it cuz there's not like a very good spot that comes to my mind about putting like a nice spot. Oh, this is where I want to put a bird coop. I don't really see it here. What can you do with the peg? Uh, the keg? Not the peg. <laughs> uh, the keg? Haven't tried it yet. Wine? I think you can, uh, what's it called? Uh, fermi, firm, 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 uh, um, ferment it. Ferment it. I think you could probably ferment fruits with it. I'm not sure. Um, but that's my guess. Fermented uh, fruits, in a way. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to build the bird coop over here by the, um, by the, the, the goods store. John's goods. The general store for now. Let's get rid of that. There we go. Waddle seed? Haha, <laughs> waddle seed. And we'll do that. I could get more of that cement. Let me see real quick. How much does it cost to make the cement stairs? It was a... Uh, okay, it was a bag of cement. Right. A bag of cement to do that. So let's get that rolling. And then might as well put the last shiny stone in there as well. <clears throat> how do you know how to make new residents? I feel it's buggy. Uh, you have to make them permanent residents. Uh, and if you're at the stage of the game where we're at now, uh, you have to uh, get... you got to progress a little bit more. So if you're, like, building a museum like we have just built, um, if you have visitors, you, you just got to get farther into the game. Yeah. Very similar, like, uh, Animal Crossing in a way. There we go. We'll craft that. That will give us four stairs. Oh, that gives us four. Okay, that's not going to be enough. But you got to you gotta uh, definitely... Um, you, you have to make them like you. You have to convince them to stay. Probably do favors as well. There we go. Copper ore. Let's grab some more stone. We need more cement. When are you going to terraform and then add a path? Oh, I don't know. Terraforming and adding paths, that's going to be probably a long uh, long thing. Uh, like I, I, I have no, no desire to do any terraforming yet. Just kind of like a, like someone said in the chat about the layout of the of the village. Really don't have like a complete layout that I'm happy with yet. So I'm not really sure when I'll be able to or when I'll do that. Not that I'll be able to when I commit to, I guess. the dingoes or the crocodiles will eat your uh, eat your birds go. so let's let's try this out so I don't know how this works because I haven't put stairs down yet let's try this out um, I want this to kind of be on the same level so this would be on the same level okay so I guess what we can try to do is we can grab some of this dirt kind of build it up a bit We haven't tried the grain out, too. There's, like, that grain mill. Yeah, we haven't done that, either. Here we are. <clears throat> oh, I see. Oh, the feed grinder. So, collect grass seeds to make animal feed in the grinder. Okay, good shout. And grass seeds. Grass seeds will help us with that. Let's go to eat some apples. There we go. So this is going to be a little bit like, a, like not a big task, but this is going to be a big thing here that we haven't kind of like got into, which is like actually constructing stairs. 
This may take a second. And I don't know how wide I want it. And this kind of goes back to the whole, like, terraforming and, like, pathing. Like, I don't know how wide I want my, my paths to be. I don't know if I want them to be three wide, two wide. Um, so this is, this is very much experimental that I'm going to do with these stairs. And it's not going to be permanent. I'll probably adjust them later on. There you go. Put that right there. There we go. It's going to get late here in a sec. That's not where I wanted that to go. F. Go. Okay. Four wide. Four wide? I guess. I guess so. One, two. Yeah, that's not bad. Four wide. I was thinking four wide. That's that seems huge. <laughs> but I guess four wide doesn't seem that big. A scale here. Okay, there we go. Let's see. Um, so this can only go like a direction. This is going to be tricky. This isn't going to look very well. Um, I got to really just pick a spot and do it. And I think I see the spot. Yeah, I think I see the spot that I'm eyeballing now. There we go. We'll go like this. And really, the only thing that we're, we're, we're the goal for this right here is just to make it uh, useful. That is it. Everything else irrelevant at this time. Making it look good, making it pretty. That's kind of just irrelevant. There we go. Hey, there we go. There we go. Hey, Ventex. Thank you for re-upping your uh, membership. Appreciate that, Ventex. Really appreciate that. That's Ventex, the uh, the content creator as well. Awesome, thank you. Appreciate it. Very kind. Four months, yeah, four months. Oh, baby, indeed. Okay. I can't wait till we unlock lighting as well. That's gonna be nice. Okay. There. How's that look so far? Is that? Oh, well, they're kind of like, they're kind of odd, aren't they? Yeah, they are a little bit odd. Hang on a sec. Let me fix that. Come up here. And we'll kind of fix that up. You can probably see where I'm going for here. God. I don't know if any scary things come out at night in this game. <laughs> I'm really not sure. I don't want like a, a bird to come up and just get me. One of the most uh, feared things in this game is just birds. Throw that right there. There you go. You're not seeing the vision? Don't worry. Don't worry. You'll see it. You'll see it. It's going to be too wide. It's not a four wide. Don't think four wide stairs here. This is only going to be too wide. Because this is just a temporary fix. You can probably see it now. We're going to be working late today until our stamina goes out. Just about. Get some more apples. There we go. Yeah, now you can probably see it. Oh, you can make torches with mangrove sticks. Okay, good, good, good. I did not know that. Thank you. I might have known that, but then I kind of might might have over like looked it. Can you place those? Are those like stationary, or do they like do you hold them? Probably uh, stationary. Yeah. You see it now. <laughs> One more dirt pile. We can start building stairs up to it. The good thing about this is that it does clear out a pathway over to the museum. Kind of. Okay. Uh, excuse me. Rotate that. Hey! Uh, that's a little weird. I don't know how I like that. Do you see that? There's like a little gap. Why is that? Is that just how it is? Huh. I guess that's how it is. That could drive someone nuts, couldn't it? <laughs> Having that little gap right there? Uh-oh. <laughs> I don't know. Alright. Let's head in for the night. Oh, there's our cement, too. Right, let's throw in something there. 
All that work to have a gap. Uh, Zallard, Zallard, thank you for the subscription. Appreciate that. Torture's burnout though. Okay, per torture's burnout. That's a good, good shout. Good shout. I kind of want to do also. I kind of want to clear out this grass going up to my house. This will give us a lot of seeds. We're gonna need to buy another um, axe. Here we go. Do this. Oh look at there's the wife. She's in chat. Hello Danielle. Hope you're having a good day. Uh, let's go. Uh, yeah, we'll throw. I guess like keep it onto these seeds. Holding onto these seeds is like the best way to best best thing to do, right? In here. Uh yeah, nails. Lay down. Call it a day. Yes. Hope they fix this. I know. I hope they do. Unless there's like a way. I don't know. Unless there's like some way around it. I don't want floating stairs. I wonder if you could have floating stairs. You know, if you just didn't have the dirt underneath it. But I don't want floating stairs either. Placing a path tile under it fixes the gap. Good shout, Gavin. Good shout indeed. So, okay. So, if you want to fix that, you got to put the cement tiles, I guess, right? In this case, to match it. Cement tiles. Um, under it. Okay. You know what? Alright, I can get behind that. That's alright. At least there's a workaround there. It takes a little bit more resources and a little bit more time. But there is a workaround. So, let's actually test that out real quick. First thing in the morning here. I'll test it out to show you guys. Since we have some cement on us. Or cement pathing on us. All right, let's go here. Let's go pick up. Um, and we'll go pick up. And then what we'll do is we will just take out this. Uh, place it right there. Take that out and place it right there. And so, theory, cement path, right? You go here. Oh, no. Unless you put the dirt cement path, then the stairs. Is that how you do it? <laughs> so do you go like that do you go uh do you go cement path you go dirt cement path you go dirt cement path then stairs okay there we go let's try that again my bad okay so let's see here cement path there we go. And then you go stairs. Ah. Ah. Kind of. Right? Kind of? Interesting. <laughs> Work in progress. <laughs> we'll figure it out, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, John. Uh, do I have anything to sell to you? I, I kind of forgot. Uh, I have some flowers. Yeah, we'll give you a couple flowers here and there. I'll give you a wattle seed because I don't really want a wattle seed. And then uh, I'll give you the cactus fix because I don't want that either. It's not going to be a lot, but we'll give him something. 1,200. Hey, that's better than I was expecting, actually. So there you go. Brick works better, I guess. Hey, yeah, okay. So then maybe brick... If the, if the textures are different, then on that 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 that's interesting so john is there anything i can do for you buddy um need anything i would love a prime roast good god uh i'll look into it john i can't make you any promises though what does a prime roast consist of yeah carrot kale green beans potatoes pumpkins you're out of your damn mind john you're out of your damn mind you're laughable. Hello, Fletch. Hello there, Cans. Uh, what can I do for you? Um, I would like to apply for a license. Let's see what we have available to us. We have 2300. Might as well look. So, if we got level 2 metal detecting, it allows the holder to notice some buried items using sight alone. That sounds incredible. Just sight alone? Uh, you know what? No questions asked. I'm getting that. Heck yeah. Um, anything I can do for you, Fletch? 
I went with brick and it all looks nice. I might have to switch to brick. I did I did like the point that someone brought up saying the color palette too. Need anything? Uh, you could find me some cheese. What is up with food today? I don't think I'll be able to do that. I can't. I'm sorry. Okay. So no 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 little tiny quests today for us to do. Now let's go get our fence so that we can bring in this bird coop finally. Oh wait, we didn't buy an axe. Hang on a sec. Let's buy an axe. Hello, John. Uh, I need a axe, please. Thousand? I'll take it. Thank you. Thank you, John. Don't need to come up behind me. Okay. Let's get the uh, fences, and then let's start looking into bird coops. While we, while the um, uh, which of a jigger builds the uh, <laughs> the uh, the freaking uh, the museum builds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. W real quick, just to get some things out of my inventory, I'm gonna go dump off. Uh, a couple of these materials that I've had for a while into the tower real quick. I'm kind of interested to see what the site alone means for dig sites or for, uh, you know, uh, treasure. Uh, put in the hot cylinder, the last hot cylinder. Add a little bit more wire to that. There we go. You know what? Let's go back here. Metal detector. Oh, oh, there it is. The site. Do you see it? That must be it. The little X marks the spot, yeah? Old key. Old key west, baby. There you go. Nice. That really shows up on the uh, sand, yeah? Whoa. Is that the stuff we dropped off before? That is the stuff we dropped off before. I really love the beach. It looks so good in the water. So blue. How cool is that? Okay. Um, <laughs> I guess what we can do is we can continue bringing up the stairs as we go. Uh, thank you, uh, Son, for uh, subscribing. Appreciate that. Let's go stone. Let's see. Let's see. Maybe we switch it. Maybe we switch it to, to the to the brick. I'm kind of curious now. The brick. Oh, I was thinking brick was going to be like a red palette. It's not a red. Oh, wait. No, rock path. Yeah, rock path is, is a red palette. But I thought brick was going to be a red palette. Uh, that's, you just need stone for that. Okay, we'll craft that. And then let's see here. Stone steps. What do you need for cement? So cement, you need something else. Okay. Brick even seems to be um, easier to make. Let's try the let's try it out, I guess. Right? Would it be the stone steps for the brick pathing? Yeah. We'll try this out. We'll see how this goes. We'll do four of the or eight of those. See how this looks. Alright, redoing it. <laughs> yeah. Grab this. My god, that bird. Okay. There we go. Okay. Let's try it out. So, first test is stone steps with no padding. That's the first test. Gosh darn it. Okay. Stone steps, no padding. Gap. Mind the gap. Okay, so there's a gap still. All right, all right, all right. It does look a little bit lower, though. So we'll pick that up. Now, um, try the brick pathing path with it now. Mix it up. How does that look? With the step. Okay, so there is still a gap. So it doesn't matter, really. All right, but I do like the, the look of it. I do like the, the brick more than the uh, other. Does it look better with the pathing underneath it? Um, yeah, it does. It does. It does look better with the pathing underneath it. So I'll do the pathing underneath the underneath the stairs. There we go. There we go. Nice. Then rotate it. There we go. Now we're making progress. Now we're making progress. You can still see the gap, but that's okay. <laughs> Uh, how's this going? How long is this going to take? I really don't know. Maybe a couple of days. In the meantime, we can go ahead and uh, get some of that. And then finally get our bird coop. In. Does anyone know if buildings get upgrades, like the shop for an example? Um, I don't know. That's a good question. 
I would like to think that hopefully the buildings do eventually get upgrades. Maybe at least one upgrade, if any. Yeah, I, I like the... Okay, so another reason why I like the brick is it's easier. It's easier to, to obtain as far as, like, um, material-wise. Uh, like you just need stones to make the brick. Easy peasy. Trapping animals and sending him them to the research gives him money. Oh yeah, the uh, the what's it called the um, the animal collection, right? The animal collection. Rock on, dude. Go. All right, grab a little bit of that. Nice, 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 nice. Let's see if we can build a little bit more stairs, cement. No, no stone. Go and there we go. That, I think, builds us to the top now. I think we're ready to go. So far, I have five pages down. Or done, sorry. Holy moly. That seems pretty good. That's awesome. That's awesome. Journal-wise. Journal-wise. In case anybody didn't know. There we go. Look at that! Hey! We did it! Hooray! We built our first kind of structural thing, in a way. Yeah. Very good. Cool. Let's get rid of this if we can. F. How does that look from a distance? Not too bad. Not too bad indeed. Cool. Alright. Okay, so... Let's build out this dang freaking coop. It's going to be very small, very uh, simple, nothing too uh, too crazy. Something that just is functional is all we need, really. There we go. <laughs> We don't want anything like jumping in here, right? Obviously. I would like to get a, a upgrade on our fences as well. Let's move the dirt away from the fence in case they can like jump in there. There we go. Okay. I don't know if that's big enough, but we're going to see here. Is that big enough for the bird coop? Yeah, okay. All right, so the bird coop. Nice. There it is. There's the bird coop. <laughs> we could put another one in there. That's something. I think uh, another thing I would like to try out too is the keg. Oh yeah. We had that mission for uh, Fletch, right? Yeah, way over here. Investigation request. How much time do we have? 105? Let's go do that. Let's go do that investigation. Oh, I love how the town's building up today. It's pretty fun. Da -da. Hey, bird, go to my bird coop. You'll love it. No. Actually, let's actually highlight that on the map, can we? There we go. Nice. And if I find that second tower, because that is in the right direction towards that tower, I'll definitely leave a pin on the map to do so. One thing I haven't seen today is a shark. And I'm not even mad about that. That's fine. Shark can be where it wants. Just not near me. A lot of birds coming through. A couple of kangaroos. Kangaroos with the ruse poos. This is the luscious green here. I'll show you guys later. I'm doing it on the computer for my Etsy shop. Oh, fantastic. Fantastic. I kind of want to kill this turkey. I feel terrible. I feel bad, but I need the meat. I do. Oh, and a little bit of feather. Maybe feathers we could use eventually, too. I think we have to, like, swim out. It looks like we might have to swim out. Let me see if I can, like, throw in some apples real quick and eat some on the way there. Because our energy is getting low. Send it. Go. Around this mountain here. I am kind of curious. I did see something on the map, though. Ch take a look at this. 
Okay, that looks like a that looks like a crest. I don't think that's supposed to be a crest. I think that's supposed to be like a biome. This is the color of the biome. But that looked like a like a <laughs> something you would see out of like Crusader Kings or something. Like a family crest. All right, here we go. Through in and through out. There's more bananas. We can have a little bit more bananas too. Eat those on the way back, maybe. Let's grab those. There we go. Never know. Oh my God! There's the emu. Still think, even though it's an emu, and they, I know they're not like aggressive in this game, they still kind of creep me out, nonetheless. Oh, look at this! Wow, look at all these shells! Holy crap! There is a ton, ton of shells over here. Wow! 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 Forging at its finest here. Nice. I'm all about it. CJW, have a good rest of your day. Thank you for stopping by and hanging out with us today. Appreciate it. All right, here we go. We're out here. Even more forge. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Look at the... It's like littered of shells. Holy crap. My lord. Hey. Look at that. Holy moly. <laughs> and there's a dig spot right there. And it's a green board, which is what we need. Perfect. My lord. Look at this. This is this is insane. Absolutely insane. I love it. John is going to get a good day. He's going to get a he's going to be his his shop is going to be filled with shells. Imagine, I guess that's like 17 days worth of spawning new stuff, right? Since we started this world. I just walked over a couple of uh, marks here. Let's go ahead and pick that up. I love this new site thing. Oh, perfect. Yeah. Pop it. Smooth stone, another green board, perfect. Bright wire, which we need. And other things that are potentially useful. Get rid of the grass seeds. Hey, okay, like, get rid of the grass seeds. See ya, Gooby. Have a good rest of your day. Thank you for hanging out with us as well. All right. Let's see here. Okay, out there somewhere. I'm, I'm a little frightened. It is the ocean. Um, I think I see it, though. I don't know if this is a good idea. Especially if there's a shark, dude. But I see some bubbling action happening. Oh, man. Please don't be a shark. Just come up and get me. What the heck is going on over here? Oh. Uh, that looks dangerous. Oh, it looks like a... A solar? Or... Is that, what is that? What is that? Okay, well, I mean... <laughs> I don't know if they want us to mine it. I don't think so. But it's there. It's a weird contraption of some sort. I don't know how to discover it, if there is an option to discover it. But, I don't know. Interesting. Oh. I think this is what we need to do. Yours was on land? Okay, so I just got seriously, like, unlucky. <laughs> seriously unlucky. Here we go. Okay. Oh, crap. And my freaking thing is all full, too. Oh, a bunch of green boards. Great. Here we go. Hot cylinder. That's the only thing I can't get is the hot cylinder, but a bunch of green boards. Which I will. I will be able to get the hot cylinder. I'd rather get the hot cylinder here. Uh, let's dump the... Yeah, yeah. Toad skin. There we go. Okay, nice. Okay, yeah, we just got extremely unlucky in the fact that that was in the middle of the ocean and not uh, not on land, but we got it nonetheless. We got the green boards, which were super uh, important anyways for our tower building. 
So I think we're going to be able... Well, no, I think we're kind of lacking on wires now. We have everything for the tower except for the wires. All right, let's head back home. We can probably, like... Yeah. I think that's it, right? That should be completed, hopefully. <laughs> hopefully. It doesn't change anything, but... Maybe we could talk to her and be like, yeah, we found a big thing out there. <laughs> I couldn't do that. I'm scared of the water. So even in games, it gives me anxiety. Really? Really? So you're probably not one of going into like the ocean, maybe swimming in the ocean or swimming in the uh, lake in real life. No, but you probably could swim in a swimming pool. Yeah. There is no reward, you just mine it. Okay, okay. That's pretty good, though. Guess if you need green boards and you need, uh, and you're lacking on your green boards, definitely, um, I'm running low on energy here. Oh no, I have no more food on me. Oh no, I don't want to run like this. I guess I could take some of this to eat for a sec. Um, this will. Take my energy, not my energy, but take my health down, which is fine, because I have health to spare. And we'll, we'll get on our way, just so we're not limping all the way back home. <clears throat> not in the ocean or lake, and I can't swim alone in a swimming pool. I have, I have to have someone with me. <laughs> oh. I mean, swimming in a swimming pool by yourself anyways, like... I don't find much enjoyment. Any anytime I go swimming in a swimming pool, you 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 oh god the the bullies. You already know I'm gonna be swimming with somebody. I, I just I think it would be kind of maybe it's relaxing to some people uh, to swim by yourself. I thought I had bananas on me. Did I pick up bananas? I thought I did. Maybe I didn't. Yeah, maybe I didn't. There's the shark. I think you weren't there in the ocean, dude. Swimming in the ocean can get a little intense, though. Especially when you're just sitting there chilling. You know, sitting there chilling, and then all of a sudden the waves start pulling you out to the middle of the sea. And, you know, you're out there, like, riding the waves a bit, you know. And uh, you're just sitting there hanging out. And then before you know it, you, like, are lost in conversation with your friend or whoever you're with. Happened to me dozens of times. And then we're like, oh, wow. Holy crap. You look up, and you're like, look how far away we are from the shore. <laughs> Look how far away we are from the from the sand. Uh, we're pretty far away. The ocean just kind of like slowly and casually uh, brought us out to sea. Oops. Let's go and do that. There we go. Nice. Okay, cool. All well, that's done. Uh, what I'm going to do before we turn in, though, I'm going to run on over to the tower, see if I need to deposit the rest of the green boards, and then I guess I can... Uh, I could sell the rest of the green boards if I wanted to, but I know... I'm going to need them again for another tower. There we go. Play some items. Uh, we want the green board. And if I have any wire, throw in the wire. Yes, throw in the wire. So we need four more bright wire. That's the thing we need next is four more bright wire. And then that is completed and done. My husband almost gave me a heart attack on our honeymoon because he went in the ocean. <laughs> Must have been fun though. He had a had a, he had to have a blast, yeah. He must have loved it though. I haven't seen the ocean in eleven years. Finally going next week. Hey, that's awesome. Nice. Very good. Very good. So all this stuff I want to sell to Mr. John. Um, there's a couple things that I can kind of like get rid of for now. That is the uh, brick path and the stone steps. We don't need those at this given time. Everything else I want to sell. Oh, I guess we have the cr uh, cooked croco meat that we could have used earlier. Okay. I'd like to go to the ocean soon um, because I like taking our dogs to the ocean. Bella loves the ocean. She absolutely does. She likes rolling in the sand. She likes getting into the water. Even though she's very, you know, she's a dachshund. She's... Her legs can only go, like, we don't put her in the ocean ocean. We just let her kind of go in the streams and stuff that lead up to the ocean. But it's so cute to see her, like, 
try to swim across the little streams because like her legs are going but she's like you know she's long and long and, and chunky so she's like she looks like a raft just <laughs> floating down the stream Quite, it's quite comical the reason i'm scared of water is because i i almost drowned when i was little oh is that right that is kind of scary I like looking at it and sitting in the shallow water. He did, but I didn't. <laughs> I haven't seen the ocean in about eight years. and I only live about 20 miles away. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> some things we just kind of forget. Like some things are like very touristy, you know, in a way. And then like when you live at a like a I say beach as in touristy, but like um, when you live at the beach, you know, it's like. Well, you know, then you stop going because you're like, well, I live here now. <laughs> it's nothing new. There we go. It's water. There we go. Nice. Cool. Water. Very good. Okay. So, John, we have a lot to give to you. And we have a new visitor that just stopped by. Who are you? Don't even know who you are. Oh, this is Franklin. Oh, so this is the disc uh, person that we've, uh, uh, that someone mentioned earlier. Hello, Franklin. Oh, hello. My name is Franklin. I'm here to research the old technology buried here on Canstopium. You see, South City has some pretty strict rules about what is allowed to be researched here. But there are, but here on Canstopia, it would appear there are no such restrictions. If you discover any shiny disc, please bring them to me. I hate myself for selling them now. I believe that the information on each shiny disc will lead me to making further discoveries. I will pay you very generously for each shiny disc you deliver to me. Oh, and I also sell blueprints for some basic recipes. Is it? Um, yes. Uh, I hope you will not be interrupting me too much. Uh, would you like a favor done, my good man? Is there anything I can do for you? Oh, what do you want to chat about? You need anything? Oh, wow. Uh, five spinfex tuft on you. Uh, I might. Yeah, I do. Yeah, uh, 110 dinks for that? I guess so. Thank you so much. All right. <laughs> if you have a uh, shiny disc, sell them to Franklin. I will definitely do it, but I don't think I have any uh, shiny discs. But look at that. He is a cheese maker and a repair kit. So there's a repair kit. How much is your cheese maker, my good man? 5K. Um, I'm going to say no thank you just because I haven't been able to produce milk yet. That's good to know in the future. Repair kit. Use it to repair all your damaged tools at a repair table. Uh, that will be 30k. Well, I don't have a repair table, so it's kind of like no point in having that yet. But good to know as well. Anything else you got going on for me, Franklin? No? All right. Very well. Whew. All right. Um, John. Let's talk to John. Let's kind of get rid of our inventory here. Hello, John. Welcome. I would like to give you a bunch of stuff. I found a lot of seashells and all that. <laughs> There you go. A little bit of that. A little bit of that. We'll hold on to, I guess, the seeds. Uh, hot cylinder. We can get rid of smooth slate. Actually, you know what? Let's hold. I, I say let's hold on to this for the other tower. The other tower is far away. I'm going to sell this stuff because I know I can get this stuff fairly easy. So we're going to get rid of that too. Um, anything else I would like to give to you? Yeah, that right there. The scallop shells. Everything else I can keep, yeah? Probably. I, I'm keeping all of the keys, dude. How much would you give me for this? 55k. Sounds good, dude. <laughs> Very good. I'll take these items and here's your 55. Uh, so maybe we can then finally get a furnace in. Oh, wait. What do you got going on here? Is that the repaired? Oh, that's the wheelbarrow. Uh, wheelbarrow, 30k. And the furnace, also 30k. We could buy both of them. If we wanted to. We could buy the wheelbarrow and we could buy the uh, furnace. Should we do that? Should we do that, chat? I wouldn't mind living near the ocean because I like to listen to the waves and take pictures of it. And the weather. The weather's nice. I guess depending on where you live as far as, like, ocean-wise. Um, you know. There we go. Should we get both of those? The furnace and the wheelbarrow? We have no debt. So we have no debt for us. Let's talk to you, Fletch. Oh, I don't think I asked him for a favor. Gosh darn it. Let's chat. What do you want to chat about? Got a job for me? You know what? I feel like I've been wearing the same shoes for too long. Think you can find me some new clothing? Anything new in my wardrobe would be awesome. Yeah. I got the perfect shoes for you. The pink polka dots. Yeah. Perfect shoes for you. Yeah, get the furnace.
For me, the recipe he sells is a raft. That sounds kind of cool. Pick up this quest real quick. <laughs> you know what? I feel like I've been wearing the same clothes for too long. Think you can find me some new clothing? No problem. I can give you some blue shorts or something. Alright, so both of them. Buy the furnace. A faster furnace that can also process uh, iron ore. Okay, so this is... You have to have this furnace in order to get uh, to process iron ore. I see. That'll be 30k. I'll take it. Thank you. Thank you. The wheelbarrow is kind of hard to use. I would get a grill before the wheelbarrow. Oh, okay. Good shout. 34k for the grill. For the barbecue. Nice. Shrimp on the barbie. Uh, let's give him some blue shorts. Yeah, we can give him some cosmetics. Let's see here. I would like to give you... I could give him... Yeah, we'll give them the blue shorts. That's fine. So we're going to give both these people some clothes. I wonder what they'll give us in return. All right, here we go. <laughs> uh, yes, I would like to give you some clothes. Here you go. You found some clothing? I did. Bonza. Is that something that Australians say? Bonza? I'm not familiar with Bonza. Is that, I feel like Bonza is from like... Uh, well, actually, no, never mind. I was thinking... Uh, Jay and Silent Bob. That's uh, Bong. Right? Or anyways. Blue shorts. Here you go. Wow, you really found some clothing. You're the best. I owe you one. Here, take this. What did we get? A gangsta hat? <laughs> what? This will keep that sun off you? A gangsta hat? My man. What are you doing to me? <laughs> That's hilarious. Hey, Monkey King. Hello, everyone. Been a while since I cut, catch a stream. I've been watching the videos daily. Oh, very good. Hope you're doing well, uh, Monkey King. Yoga. Hey, Fane. How you doing? Uh, let's see here. I would like to give you these pink polka dot shoes. Wow, you really found some clothing. Is she going to give me some clothes, too? Orange flanny shirt. Okay. So let's see that we got like traded clothes for clothes for the most part <clears throat> for clothes he gives you clothes <laughs> brilliant orange flanny flannel ah that's pretty cool i like that a lot better nice and then i guess the gangsta hat <laughs> okay all right like a fedora yeah all right i feel you so we traded clothes for clothes and i think we got the better uh, deal out of it yeah i do yeah, I do. I do feel like we got the better deal out of it. Right, let's go ahead and put these clothes away now. Go, we'll put that there, and then uh, the headphones, I guess, there. Nice. I would like to drop off some seeds, too, if I can. I might put those in the other one. Whoops. Put that in the other one. I gotta organize all this stuff eventually, right? Then put that there that and that very good this this and this cool now something we haven't done is actually thrown quartz into the smelter which i don't know if we can or maybe we can we, our color like the way our color outfit our outfit here is just kind of ridiculous we're like all over the place color wise okay let's put this furnace down though Let's see here. Let's get rid of some of this shovel. Or, sorry, get rid of some, some of this dirt, yeah? I'm doing good. I just reached Autumn in this game after playing all afternoon. Oh, wonderful. Hope you're enjoying the game. I'm sure you are. I'm sure you are, right? Autumn. Is the season... So the seasons change. Do you definitely see a difference? Like, is there, like, a weather difference? Is there... Um, like the way the, the sky looks, is there like differences like that? Let's see here. Let's see how fast this is. Do I have anything on me? I don't think I can put stone in here, right? No. That is strictly for cement. Nice. One thing I really want to do. Oh, I should probably buy a, uh, buy a pickaxe. That's what I really should do. 1200. Yep. Thank you, John. What else do I need? I am running low on spears. Um, so I'm going to have to craft that soon. A shovel, I am kind of running low, but I, I think I'll be okay. 
Can you change the color of the hat, or is it that even possible? Uh, I don't think you can change the color of the hat. I think there probably will be variations of the hat uh, in the future. So, like, you could buy a variation of the gangsta hat to maybe be a different color. Things like that. That's my guess, at least. Let's go here. Get a, get a little bit of that. Nice. Okay, so let's go probably get some more... Um, well, we, actually, one thing that we're, we're kind of lacking on is food. Let's go see if we can, like, dig up some discs while Franklin is here. Let's try that. <laughs> I had a leaf storm earlier, but otherwise I've noticed uh, some new bugs, really. Notice some new bugs. Interesting. Oh, there we go. Perfect. A button board. Damn it. <laughs> Don't bury the button board. All right. Now, I have a feeling maybe, possibly, we haven't checked on the museum yet. Our museum might have, or might be almost done. We should probably look on onto that, yeah? Let's get rid of this pickaxe. There we go. Pop that. And then slide that. Put that there. Cool. Let's go check on it real quick. So none of these have grown anything yet. Maybe eventually soon. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Look at that. Your majesty. <laughs> Holy crap. Hello and thank you. Ah. Hello, good sir. Theodore. Oh, sorry. Uh, I don't think I introduced myself. I get a bit carried away sometimes. I'm Theodore. I'd love to open a museum here on Canstopia. We could fill it with all the interesting things found here on Canstopia. So please, speak to Fletch about building the museum as soon as possible. My man! You're standing in it! I've done that for you. What are you talking about? Theodore? Welcome to my museum. What can I do for you? <laughs> you scared me, Theodore. I want to chat. Oh, what do you want to chat about? Need anything? Oh, uh, you have a logging license, right? Think you can get me four palm wood planks? You got it, dude. So now the thing that we need to be doing is collecting bugs and fish and donating them to the museum. I was really nervous there for Theodore. I was like, are you kidding me? What are you talking about? Build the damn museum. You're, you're in it. You're actually in it. I've done the labor. I've paid my debt. It's all there. Um, yeah, okay. We have the, we have the wood. We can give him the wood. Let's give him the wood. Good lord. I was thinking bug, bug, bug all the way through there. <laughs> there. Four. Oh, there we go. Perfect. All right. So then what I'll do is I'll start uh, collecting things as well to give to Theodore. Um, I kind of want to see how this works. Do we get a reward for collecting a bunch of things or is it just for the museum itself? I just want to like catch like a like a like a butterfly real quick. And maybe donate it to him and just see what he says. That was a sentence you should have had when he was a visitor. I know, right? I felt like I I, I when he was a visitor, I felt like we had that uh, that conversation with him, but I guess he must have forgot. I don't know. I was hoping I could find a butterfly just anywhere. Just anything, really. It could be a butterfly. Maybe we like quickly catch a fish. I just want to donate something just to see what it's like. Oh, you'll get... Okay, you'll get the uh, adventure points, I guess that's what it is. Okay, good shout. I can't believe we, we We go around, no butterflies. There we go. Finally. I missed. I missed. I missed. I got it. Scarlet. There we go. Alright, let's go to <laughs> let's go back to Theodore. Oh yeah, yeah. Theodore. A man. We know about each other. Let's not uh let's not get confused here. Hey not given, how's it going? How you doing? Alright, Theodore. First thing I want to do. So I want to give you your planks. Here you go. Yes, I got it. Now, give me something cool. Don't. Actually, I would. I would love to take your glasses. 
You're the best, thank you. I really owe you. A new crafting recipe, an iron wood bench. That's cool, having a bench, except we just don't have iron yet. But I'm glad we got that recipe. Okay, now let's go ahead and donate this butterfly to him. I have a donation. What have you brought me? Uh, a, a butterfly. Yo, he's super excited. Yeah. Our collection is currently missing a scarlet butterfly. Yeah. Would you be willing to donate it? Yeah, take it. Your generosity is outstanding. Please accept a hundred as a small token of our gratitude. Yeah. Is there anything else I can do? No, that's all. Thank you again. Okay, so with the donation, uh, does it just automatically go in here? Ah, look at there it is. Oh, good. Now, if you read this in this exhibit, scarlet. Okay, look at that. Cool. Oh, that's so good. Very good job. Very good job indeed. Very good. Cool. I like I like it. I like it. Now in here, obviously would be the fish. Cool. Good job. Alright, that's neat. You got iron from grinding shiny rocks. Okay. Now, okay, so to attract... So... How does the bird coop work? Do we have to buy the like the little like chook, right? Is that what they're called? The chook, the chickens. Do we have to buy them and then place them in there, or how or how does that all work with the whole um, the coop thing? Let me know. Okay, um, let's go on a, another. Well, actually, let's go talk to uh, Fletch real quick. See if there's anything new with Fletch. Hello, Fletch. Did you dive for critters yet? They could be donated as well. You could buy a license to see bubbles in the water. I am not. I didn't even know that was a thing. It was pretty random though. Okay. Feed every day and buy the chook. Okay, so buy the chook. Yep. Very good. Uh, I don't think... Yeah, okay. So when, when Erwin comes back, we'll buy the chook. For sure, for sure. Cool. Got it. Yep. All right. <clears throat> Let's see here. Um... 1400 for a license. Anything else I can bring in? Trapping license allows the holder to craft and use the advanced animal traps. Now, we haven't been using that, which we should probably uh, look into building our like little uh, uh, traps, I guess. Fencing options. I want this. Yes. Give me that. Palm wood fence. Looks good. Brick fence. Also looks good. Palm wood gate. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Cement fence. Gum wood fence. Hardwood fence. Tin fence. Oh. Gum wood gate. Hardwood gate. Tin gate. So that's good, but the only thing that we didn't have, or we don't have, is a picket, uh, picket fence gate. Which is unfortunate, because that's the that's the fence that we're working with. Okay. Right. Cool. <laughs> Replacing the fences and actually putting a gate in. Uh, looks like that might be how like we have to do that. I do want to kind of go through the yeah, go through this and see if we can find some extra stuff. Absolutely. Love it. So easy. Kind of basically preparing, right? In a way, preparing for the uh, for the next debt that we're gonna take on probably tomorrow. Let's see, old key, take that. There you go. Now I don't know what comes after the museum. If after the museum is the uh, the mine shaft license, or sorry, the mine shaft deed. Hello, Dingo. At least they're nice. I don't know if like dingoes are are like aggressive in real life. My assumption would be like they're like wild dogs, so they're they are aggressive, maybe? I don't know. Eclipse the producer, how's it going? How you doing? Smooth slowly, yeah, there we go, there we go. Beat every day. Oh, look at that. Yeah. There's some shiny disc. Hey, Franklin! <laughs> I hope you're still, I don't know if he's going to be uh, still in uh, in his shop or his tent. My man, Franklin. Not from GTA. I got you a shiny disc, my man.
The sky is neon green. I know, I kind of like the... Sometimes I like the, the look of it. Like the neon green sky, the, uh, the blood red sky. Oh, I don't think he's working now. I don't know if I can give it to him. What is his hours? 4 p.m. Yeah, so he's all done. Hey, Franklin. I'll talk to you anyways. Um... Yeah, let's chat though. I do wish there were more people here on Canstopia. That could have a real intellectual discussion with. Okay, that that's actually an insult. But I suppose I should really be doing research anyway. All right, very well. I was gonna give you a shiny disc, but you just kind of like ruined it. Let's go ahead and clear out this area, going up to our uh, house. Get these bushes and these uh, these weeds or fern, sorry, out of the way. We'll kind of level this out a bit, too, as we go along. Ah! Probably get rid of that tree, too. Got to pick at Fitz's gate from doing the job for fetch? Oh, dang it. You lucked out, then, probably. You got the uh, picket fence gate. I want that gate. <laughs> okay, we need a new spear. We got to go ahead and like craft a new spear, right? Obviously. <laughs> you should try dink small wood. I don't even know what the heck that is. Dink Smallwood? I know quite random, but the name of this game reminded me of it. Ah, okay. I see. So it's a game, yeah. Hmm. Go. Palmwood. So we're going to get a new spear. We're going to craft a new spear. We should be able to do that here, yeah? Oh, then we can... Oh, the copper axe. Oh, well, yeah, there we go. Nice. All right, neat. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Hang on a sec. Let's do that. Dang it, I don't have enough. <laughs> I don't have enough. I have one copper bar, but I just need to smelt the others. Okay, right, let's see here. There's a scythe and there's the basic spear. Now the scythe obviously would have been perfect for cutting all those grass, right? Obviously, but for fighting, I am kind of comfortable with the basic spear. So gum wood and a tin bar. Gum wood and a tin bar. We should have a tin bar in here. Should should not and okay, we do not we need to craft some more and then uh gum wood it's also another thing we need oh i don't even have any gum wood either really interesting A little slacking ain't i put those both in our thing uh i got some gum logs okay let's 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 build this out we don't have to go to bed yet can at least build this out so we, we can get this going here. Let's go with that. Let's go. Nope. Go with that. There we go. And let's use our furnace for the first time. Nice. Let's see how fast that goes. Don't you have the recipe for a scythe yet? It's easier to clear. I do. Yeah, I do. I do have it. I just haven't uh, built one. Now, that did take five ores. We'll see how fast that takes. I, I, I thought it would have been a little bit quicker. I will be, I will admit. <laughs> there we go. Okay, then let's go ahead and make our spear. There we go. And all we need to do for the copper axe is make one copper bar because we have the other one at home. So once this is done, We'll throw in the copper and get that rolling. Anytime soon. Again, thought it would have been a little bit quicker. Let's see here. Cooking some bread. Uh, can't do that. Nope. Uh, shipping requests. So I need to spend, or sorry, to send a big shipment of 29 bottle brush uh, back home, which we actually have bottle brush. That would have gave us 19,000. We just need to grow it is all. Uh, investigation accepted, which should be completed. And then the Alpha Jackaroo as well. Okay, let's go ahead and put this in. There we go. 
let's do two. We'll put them in at the same time and see if they finish at the same time. Maybe what's happening is that they both go at the same time, but the furnace gives us the ability to get iron instead of this old furnace. Maybe the speed is irrelevant. Hey, Daniel Dunn. Gonna have a good day in the stream? Yeah, definitely gonna have a good day in the stream. Absolutely, absolutely. All right. So that's done. Okay, so it is faster. All right, there you go. It is faster, after all. Might not seem faster, but it is faster. Good to know. <laughs> yeah, just use both for now, I know, right? <laughs> yeah, that is way faster. <laughs> I didn't realize that furnace, this old one, it really took that much time. There we go. Alright, well, might as well just use it now. Go and get this. Yep. There we go. Hooray! New axe. Nice. Okay. So that's good. Let's go ahead and turn in for the night. Um, we have a bunch of stuff to sell tomorrow. A bunch of seeds to drop off. There we go. Very good, very good. I guess we could put palm wood away. All the stuff I want to sell for the most part. Um, the gum wood plank away. Except for this uh, disc. Put the disc away. And then the cement away. Yep. There we go. Sleep until tomorrow. <clears throat> Did we sell anything all day? Oh yeah, we made 55k. I think we got super lucky when we, uh, earlier when we got those two ambers out there in, the, like, the desert biome, so to speak. Okay. Walk outside. Whoa. Felt like it was, like, a fog coming on, but maybe not. All right. No visitor today. John's doing okay. Let's talk to John. Hey, how you doing? Morning. Let's, no, not hang out. I always ask him to hang out. I know we don't know each other that well. I I I I get it. I get it. <laughs> I just want to see if you got a job for me, my man. Uh, five man growth tips. I got you. I'll do that. Okay. Come in here. Hi, Fletch. Hello there. What can I do for you? Uh, anything about the town? Let's see. Let's talk about the town. Let's see. What is that gonna help you? Is there any new deeds? Oh, uh, it appears we don't have any deeds available right now. I hope we can apply for some more soon. Okay. Uh, hello there. Yeah, 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 yeah. What can I do for you? About my house. Let's take a look. So you're interested in applying for a house deed. Uh, it would be 95000 up front, and then you would have to do the materials. Oh, and once you've applied for the deed, you will have to source the construction materials yourself. So this is actually not too bad to do. Um, considering we know how to get a lot of money, uh, we could actually upgrade our house fairly soon, I guess you could say. Yes, is there anything I could do for you? We would be the only one. Everybody else would be in tents. I need something to eat. Can you bring me something to eat? Yeah, I could do that. Cool. All right, so let's see here. Uh, I can make her a nice drumstick. We'll do that. We'll make her a nice drumstick. There we go. And then for him, he needs some mangrove sticks. I don't know if I have enough mangrove sticks for him, but we'll, we'll take a look. I know I have some. I just don't know if I have enough. Oh, we should probably water our plants as well. Go. Oh God. Okay. And then we'll go ahead and sell a bunch of things to John. Do I have enough for him? I don't think I do, honestly. Five. I can't remember if he asked for five or if he asked for six. We might be right on the button there. Well, to see. We'll go ahead and deliver this uh, to Fletch as well. Drumstick. Hello, Fletch. Got you something. Cooked you up to a nice uh, drum leg. Nice little bit of KFC. That sounds pretty good, I'll be honest. <laughs> Find something to eat? Yeah. Uh, give you... Oh, I guess we could have gave her the croco meat, but that croco meat's mine. Yeah. Oh, no. I don't really eat the stuff like this? What? You don't eat meat? Oh, my. Fletch! I don't think I'm hungry anymore. That was very rude, Fletch. Jeez Louise, it's it's food. What do you want? A roasted apple? Dang it. 
get it. Uh, I would, uh, yeah, I would like to chat. What do you want? Here you go. I think I have enough. Five. Yeah, good. Right on the button. There you go, good man. Wow, you really came through. What would you like to give me? A Nordic chair. That sounds pretty cool. A Nordic chair. So that's furniture, baby. Hey, Devin, how you doing? You changed the fit? Yeah, we got some, we got a flannel. We got some camo pants. We got a gangsta hat. We're, we're making moves out here. All right, let's see here. Nordic chair. Let's place that like right there. Nice. A little modernized. Yeah. Very cool. Very cool indeed. Fletch didn't accept fruit either? Really? I wonder if she accepts only recipes. Okay, let's go talk to John. Hello, John. Um, I would like to give you a bunch of stuff. Sell you some stuff. Okay, let's go. Um, this, this, this. Those, 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 those. Not the stone. I'm kind of... I, I should probably save the tuft grass. Oh, we have bright wire. I didn't realize we had bright wire on us. Um, some old springs and some tin sheets and that should do it. Let's see. Oh, I can only offer 11k. That's alright. There we go. Could buy another furnace. Could buy a barbecue. Could buy a barbecue. Tempting to buy the barbecue. Really is tempting. Really is tempting. You build the museum yet? Yeah, absolutely. Looks pretty cool, too. We did a pretty bang-up job on it. I'm tempted. <laughs> I'm really tempted. She was happy with the cooked lime I gave her? Cooked lime. Let's see here. Alpha Bush Devil. So Alpha Bush Devil, this must be the Tasmanian Devil, has spotted been spotted at this location. This is a very dangerous alpha animal and should only be taken on by experienced hunter. Hunt down the Alpha Bush, Bush Devil using its last no, known location. We will not do that. Uh, however, I will start looking into this. That is the keg, the animal collection, and the simple animal trap. So we need mangrove sticks, which we can get. Old springs, which I've been selling, but I think I have some. So let's go ahead and do this. So we'll go mangrove sticks. We'll start looking into traps now. And there's the museum in its old glory right there. Love to see it, right? Oh, baby. So there is a mangrove right over here next to us, which is convenient. Let's go ahead and pick this up. I hate that it's in the water, though. <laughs> then the, the materials just fall into the water. I'm going to chop this down. There we go. And then hopefully grab all of the things that we can. We're going to have to swim around, aren't we? Swim around and grab it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Swim around with this hat? Are you kidding me? Swim around with this flannel? Are you actually kidding me also? No. Okay, so we have enough mangrove sticks. All we need is a little bit of a spring. So it shouldn't be too hard to find. I see a spot right here that could put, potentially give us a spring. Two spots to be exact. I love this new uh, sight ability thing. No. And grab right here. Hot cylinder. There we go. Nice. Very good. For that price, the barbecue had better cook the food for you and wash the dishes when you're done. I know, right? <laughs> you imagine in real life getting a grill for that price oh my god there we go there's old spring they do though like some of the barbecues out there going to the store and like kind of going to the barbecue section there is like um the grill sec there's some pretty like high-tech grills out there now that they sell that are pretty expensive but um it's kind of crazy like the different like bells and whistles you can get for a grill nowadays um, okay, let's build this trap. Okay, trap has been built. Now, one thing I want to do is build the, uh, animal collection. So, palm wood, hardwood, and nails. We have all that. Yeah, we actually have hardwood. Let's go grab that. 
Now, I don't know where you put these animal traps. I guess you put them in a random spot somewhere. Right? Is that how that works? Uh, hardwood. And palm. And nails. Is that enough nails? That is enough nails. Sick. There we go. And the next thing I would like to do is get this. But we don't have an iron bar, unfortunately. But I would like to get this in eventually. Oh. We also should do this, too. The grain mill. So copper, old wheel, old gear, and gumwood. Let's see what I have here. Okay. <laughs> um, we got some gears. We got a wheel. We might be able to pull that one off, too. Okay. Yeah, so I guess... I don't know. I don't even know where to put the collection point, either. I guess we can just, like, send it right here. That kind of seems crazy. <laughs> Oh, yes, we, we put the animal collection right there, right next to the knife in the fire pit. But the simple animal trap, I guess, goes out into the wild, yeah? Museum looks great. Oh, yeah. Just anywhere out here, maybe? Is that how that works? Okay. It's a trap. <laughs> guess we'll see what happens to that. It's a trap. Okay, so that's good. Uh, another thing I would like to kind of get done is seeing what we could do with the hardwood. We can bring in some more hardwood. I think that would kind of prepare us for the future as well. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Oh, another disc. How good. I set mine down, but it didn't catch anything until I le led an animal to walk over it. Either by hurting it or hunting it. Ah, okay. Okay. Very well. Maybe that's what I have to do then. There we go. Here we go. Finding so much of this stuff, dude. Really good. We need more green boards, though. Or, sorry, no, wires. We need more wires. Have we picked up any wires? We picked up one wire. That's the hardest thing to do is find the wires. Okay, so maybe that's what we do. Maybe we lead an an lead an animal to the trap. Um, I'm thinking let's let's try this out then. Let's go here. So then, how does the collection animal collection point do? How does that work? Is that where? I don't know how that works. I guess we'll figure it out eventually. <laughs> but I'm I'm kind of interested though. Like, what if I got one of those aggressor um, animals, like the the big scary casuary, Kazu, Kazu, casuary, whatever the heck those those big black birds. Um, what if I got one of those chasing me, and then I led it to the trap? Would that work? Oh, this is actually what I wanted to to look into. This wood here. There we go. We have not got this wood before. There we go. Nice little pine cones too. Yeah, pine cones to plant for to get more of those trees. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. I want to kind of see if we can find more amber, too. Now, I don't know if the X's... It doesn't seem like the X's do pop up in this kind of clay terrain. It seems like the X's pop up. The visibility only pops up in the sand. Now, I think the license might have told me that. I kind of overread that. There we go. Nope. There we go. The trap is too weak. You need the advanced one. Okay. Start with a turkey. Okay, a turkey. All right. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, yeah. There you go. So a turkey, a nice little tiny turkey. <laughs> the only thing about that is I'm, I'm not, I'm really not sure how to uh, actually um, how to attract a turkey. Because like, if we hit a turkey, we it it won't be aggressed, right? It won't be a, an aggressor. Oh, there it is. It actually does show up. There it is. Nice. And it's a trunk. And it's a bunch of stuff. Hooray! 
Maybe it shows up sometimes and not all the time. Oh, there's more over here too. There we go. Man, this makes treasure finding a lot easier. You drop the cage on the pickup spot and it will be sent away. Then you will get a mail in with money. Oh, really? Is that how that works? Really? Is that how that works? <laughs> okay. I'll have to look at that when we get back uh, back to the back to the settlement. I gotta say, do I have any food? I should. Yeah, I, I have food because I have food because what's her face didn't want to take um didn't want to take my uh my cooked drumstick. I just scared I'm just scared I just scared it into walking one okay scared it walking into one oh there we go look at that there we go really really all I want right now is uh is wires that's what I'm looking for the most let's see where are we at in the wires two we need two more wires to complete the tower yeah two more wires to complete the tower Gonna get that. There we go. Is there anything else I missed? Oh, okay. Two more wires. Oh, this is working out great. Okay, one more wire. <laughs> one more wire to connect or to complete the tower. Oh, there's one underneath it? What the heck? There was one underneath it. Two drums stacked on top of each other. Nice. Man, this visibility is a game changer. I, it's, I, I almost feel like I'm cheating, dude. Okay, one more wire. One more wire. That's all I need. There it is. There it is. We got the wire. Let's go. Oh, don't forget to, like, get the butterflies. Harlequin. Is that the same one or is that a different one? I can't tell. What is that? Scarlet. Okay, we don't need the scarlet. Uh, drop. No, no, no. We don't want the scarlet. We already have the scarlet. I will take this one, though. Yeah, blue moon. And I will uh, swap this out with something. Let's see. What can I swap out? Um. Uh. Uh. Tropical seeds. Okay, let's head back home through here and mark that general direction cool all right so the tower is going to be fixed up now now i'm assuming when you fix up the tower it will start to attract maybe more or progress something in the story i guess i say story it's a very loose story right there's not really like a a story to follow but you know progression in the game Hey, Lady Kryptonite, how you doing? I decided to name the puppy Jules. Oh, I love it. Jules, that's that's absolutely adorable. <laughs> Jules. Jules Kryptonite, love it. Jules. How sweet. Do you know what the tower does? I do not know what the tower does, actually. I don't. I'm, I'm really going off of assumption. But yeah, I do not know what the tower does. <laughs> oh, the tell the tower is a teleport point. Really? So you use this tower to teleport port to the other tower. Is that what it is? Okay, well that's a little bit anticlimactic. I was not expecting that. Uh am I disappointed? Maybe. That seems to have done it. What happens next? You build another one and then you have a have a a fast travel system, I guess, right? It doesn't work right now. Yeah, okay. So, <laughs> all right. It, it is a fast travel system. All right. All right. Fair play. I get you. I got it. All this time. That's okay. At least we know where the other one's at. Roughly, we know where the other one's at. 
Okay, so you say put the trap in this. Like that? Or like... Or was I wrong about that? Maybe I misread that. Let's see. Hang on a sec. Uh, you drop the cage on the pickup spot. And it will be sent away. Oh my god. Maybe I'm doing it wrong. Unless it needs to be the advanced uh, traps. Yeah. If you repair the two towers, you can teleport in between them. Oh, with an animal in it. Oh, okay. With an animal. So you can put an animal inside that thing? That little tiny box? Yeah. Okay. Well, in that case, I'm going to leave this out then. Um, just to hopes to see if anything happens. And we'll mess with that later. Probably would be best to get the advanced uh, trapping, probably, before anything. We do have time to sell some stuff, though. And donate some stuff. Hello, John. Um, I mean, you think about it now, right? And <laughs> to build the other teleporter, we're going to need most of this stuff back. And I could save it and do just that. Which I will save for now. I'll save for now. I'm going to go to the donation and to the museum and donate real quick. We'll get that rolling. Yeah, we'll get that rolling. There we go. There we go. Hello, my good man. Theodore. I forgot that I could do stuff for you, too. I keep forgetting you're like another member of society. <laughs> do you think? Would it be too much trouble to, to catch a, a bony tongue? I beg your pardon? You can usually catch bony tongue in the billabongs this time of the year, which I've been told is a pond, right? I, I can't do that, my good man. Sorry. Never hurts to ask. I guess so. <laughs> um, I have a donation for you. What, can you. what have you brought? A Harlequin and a Blue Moon. Both of them. Oh my! Harlequin! Our collection is currently missing. Uh, would you be willing to donate it? Absolutely. Your generosity is astounding. Thank you. How's the outback? How's the. Hello. Uh, hello, uh, Mr. Jefferson. How's the outback treating you? Treated me pretty well. I'm having a good time. It's pretty relaxing. I got another one for you. There you go. Yeah. Again, I don't know if anybody else, uh, like, in chat has done. Uh, Multiplayer in this game, but I think it'd be kind of interesting. So let's take out our take a look at our butterflies now. Do we have any others in the other cages? Or is, are they all in that one cage? I think they're all in that one cage. There's two. I see two. I don't know where the third one is at. It all depends on the biome that they live in, right? There's more than two towers on the map, so it's easier way to get around. Okay, so I, I've only seen the second one, so I, I wonder if there's like a, um, if there's like a northern, there's probably like a northern tower. The one I've seen was on the west side, so there's probably a west side tower, northern tower, maybe even a southern tower. That's my guess, right? Because this is actually, uh, you could say this is the eastern tower, <laughs> the telly tower. I didn't give him the third butterfly. Oh, did I not donate it? Did I accidentally say no to him? Good shout, by the way. Uh, fungus head. Did I not donate it? Did I accidentally deny him? Thank you for uh, catching that. That was very uh, a good eye. <laughs> very good eye indeed. Holy crap. Our collection is currently missing. Yes. Would you like to? Yes. Take it. Take it, my good man. Thank you. I don't know what I did. I accidentally uh, must have um, thought I donated it, but not. Oh, it actually keeps a number, too. Look at that. Three and zero. Oh, that's cool. There's the third one. Okay. All right. Woo. I don't know what the heck I was smoking there. You're the only person on my friends list playing. <laughs> There's a lot of people in chat and on my friends list playing uh, uh, Dinkum. They're having a good time with it. Let's actually get rid of the. Uh, um, let's get rid of the uh, 
the crafting recipe for uh what was it the simple trap the simple life starring uh paris hilton right uh, yeah let's not track that anymore uh let's see we could actually build the well because that's a new recipe that we got we could build the well that'd be kind of cool still want to do the grain this is the whole thing also keeping the materials as well to so that we can build stuff like this the grain mill turn seeds and grains into other things which obviously will be useful uh in the near future not exactly right now but in the near future still looking for iron i would love to get a keg in yeah i would love to get the keg in that would be nice and bridges would be cool just to have from one spot to another nice okay Hey -oh. All right, so we'll throw some of this stuff. Maybe I'll organize this chest over here kind of a little bit more. So let's take out the wood. Let's put all like the uh, the junk materials, I say, like crafting materials, like this stuff that we find in the treasures. Let's put this all in one chest. Same with the key. Uh, just so I can like really um, know exactly what we have and where we have it. Uh, same with the discs. So let's have those in there too. So let's grab the discs. Uh, this could be more of like uh, things that are buildable, like fruits, maybe seeds, possibly pine cones, stones, some turf, not turf, tuft, um, things like that. Maybe even wood can go in there too. But all the other things I would like to have out of here, like the tuft, the gum nut, um, Maybe the copper bars can stay. The bones could possibly stay. The stone can go. Uh, the ores, we could leave them for now. Sign up there. Headphone there, 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 there. There we go. All of this stuff. Just so I have an idea of what we have now. Put the nails in there, I guess, too. Cool. Kind of a little bit more organized. No, gum nuts and that's a full thing there oh how did i not like put the tires in there <laughs> put the oars in here too i guess there we go and the keys we have 12 keys that's more organized cool i feel a lot better with that all right let's go lay down call it a day absolutely call it a day There are supposed to be at least four towers. Okay, so yeah, that, that sounds about right then. North, south, west, and east. Purple Panther says nine pages done. Incredible. Incredible. Rain is visiting. Oh, I love rain. It's looking so great. I'm proud of myself. I can't wait to see it. Can't wait to see it in the Discord. Uh, oh, mail. Mail call. Uh, fish and tipster. Here's a fishing tip for summer. An undiscovered fish has been spotted in the northern oceans. Anyone who wants to find it, they should be fishing during the day. Okay. Cool. That's good to know. There we go. There we go. Fishing during the day. Northern ocean. I'm gonna go say hi to rain. I like rain. Hello, rain. Oh, hey, how can I help you? Uh, want to chat? Oh, what do you want to chat about? Got a job for me? Ah, actually, I have a jolly hat I don't want anymore. Oh, a jolly hat? Uh, do you want to buy it? 4,000. 5,000, really. Um, there's a part of me that wants to because I wanna, I'm want i curious of the cosmetic. I, I just want to see it. I want to see what the jolly hat is. 5,000 is a lot for a hat, but yes, it's a deal. Pleasure doing business with you, I guess so. I guess we'll have to figure and see what that is. What, what the hell is this? Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, should have saw that one coming. Right? <laughs> We're not in the season yet. It's not winter time. It's not uh, tis the season. Uh, good to know. Thank you, Rain, for that, though. Uh, let's chat with Rain, though. How can I help? I want to chat. Oh, what do you want to chat about? Uh, let's just talk. Even though I like spent most of my life in the sky, I feel like I've got this special connection to the earth somehow. You know what I mean? I guess so. Uh, what are you selling here, Rain? Wheat seeds. So we can buy wheat seeds from her. Oh, those are wheat seeds. Uh, they grow all year. They grow over nine days. They produce two wheat. So 
every season of the year we can grow wheat good to know uh, they are 360 each are you interested i am i am interested i i think i'll take five for now because i don't want to overdo it with myself with the whole watering and all that yeah let's do that let's do five because <laughs> then we're gonna have to build out a farm for that we'll do five for now very good thanks for the purchase no problem right thanks for the uh, supply of wheat yeah all right so want to trade let's see here i have a white flats i don't want anymore i'm willing oh white flats as in like white shoes are those like sandals i'm willing to trade any other clothing for it. if anyone is interested please come to me theodore i'll accept that i think i have something to trade for him yeah We'll, we'll see what these white flats are all about. That sounds like sandals or something. Flip-flops or thongs or something like that, rather. I will give you... What am I going to give him? <laughs> I know what I'm going to give him. He said literally any other clothing. I'm going to give him his own shirt. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to say, hey, nice sweater vest, nerd. But here's another one. And then he's going to give me the... <laughs> he's going to give me the white flats. Hello, Theodore. Welcome. What can I do for you? I want to chat. Uh, I've completed your quest. Oh, you're interested in my white flats? I want to trade. All right, let's see what you have. Here is your same exact uh, sweater vest. You've got yourself a deal. Here's my white flats. Thanks for the trade. Right on, brother. Okay, let's see what these look like. Okay, they look like... Oh, God. can't even see what they look like. They look fancy. They don't look half bad, but they definitely aren't sandals. They're like dress shoes, in a way. Yeah, they're like dress shoes, in a way. I will keep, I'll, I will keep my white boots on for now. To be more rugged. Hey, Fuzzy Poo, how's it going? It's midnight. I'm going to head off to bed. Going to watch the rest of the live stream tomorrow. Have a great rest of your day. Have a great rest of your day, Sky Wolf. You do take it easy. And thank you so much for the tips and tricks and helping out uh, through today. Appreciate it. Board ads. There we go. Cool. Uh, actually, let's ask Fletch if Fletch has anything going for her. Hello, Fletch. What can I do for you? Um... Yeah, let's chat. Uh, let's, you got a job for me? I've got a real hankering for sausage roll. I, no, I cannot do that. How am I doing? Doing good. Doing good, yeah. What can I do for you? Uh, Let's do a license. Yeah, all right then. A trapping license allows you to... The holder to craft use advanced animal traps if we really want to get more into that. Buy and raise uh, Von, uh, von Bats. Um... kind of scared me a little bit tool belt i kind of like the tool belt way cargo license not too bad building license allows you to build windmills to help speed up uh, production tasks i think that's a little bit too advanced right now let's do another tool belt yeah yeah let's do another tool belt cool. now we have a little bit of extra let's go ahead and plant our wheat we should be able to plant it just fine in the back here. Pick that up, pick that up, pick that up, bam, bam, and bam. This isn't going to look like, it's not going to look that great. I should have got six, huh? Let's buy one more. Yeah, let's buy one more just so I don't, uh, <laughs> I don't hurt my brain and how it looks. Might be a little OCD on that. Hey, hi, 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 hi. Just give me one wheat seed, please, sweetheart. Just one. Just one. Take it. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. All right. Let's go about here. Hey, uh, I'm gonna need to get the hoe. Yeah, so first things first, hoe and picket fence. Let's grab that. We're gonna need more of it. Let's go and grab the hoe. And then let's go ahead and put the cosmetics away, the jolly hat and the white flats. Okay. And over here, let's finish this off. Now it's gonna be a little weird, I will say, how I'm gonna do this. 
I'm gonna go three on the back and three on the front. That's how I'm gonna do it. I know what you're thinking. How dare you? That's weird. And I, I, I agree. But I'm trying to make this space here very, very small. And not too big. No. And until I get a fence gate, too. The fence gate is kind of, uh, kind of something I would like to have as well. Okay. We're going to need to get more water soon. Go. Go. Okay. We are out of water. Let's go ahead and grab that. Can we get it from here? Yeah. Perfect. I don't know if it's a good idea, though, to use seawater, salt water, and grow your crops. By the way, thank you, uh, King David, for the subscription. Appreciate that. Thank you very much. Go. There we go. Oh, you hear the dogs? Bella barking. Bark, bark, bark. There we go. I don't think Danielle's home. No, I don't think Danielle's home. There we go. I don't know if I have enough. Oh, I have enough. I have enough. There we go. So yeah, we'll do uh, <laughs> wheat in the back, wheat in the front, tomatoes in the in the in the middle. That will be that. There we go. Water can, hoe. Put those aside. And then we can kind of, we want, I saw a little bit of an X over here. We can kind of go get more treasure. Oh, yeah. Perfect. All good, good, goodness. All goodies. Some more sand. Seashells as well. Oh, there's a crocodile, dude. I kind of want to fight the crocodile. I don't want to get zapped up. Oh, wait, no. I want to go to the uh, tipster. During the day, yeah, to, to the northern ocean. Let's go there and see if we can catch that fish. There we go. Nice. When you have the gate, the other villagers sometimes help water in the plants. Really? Is that, is that a fact? That's kind of cool. That's really cool, actually. Oh, well, I'm glad. That's a, that's a good thing to keep in mind, though. That's awesome. Villagers, come help me uh, water my plants. You know what? If I guess it wouldn't be mine. You could kind of say it's like a community garden in some some sort, right? Just considered north. That is definitely not considered north. Gotta go a little bit off to the west here. Yeah, so let's head up north. It is noon. Might be able to get away with it. Uh, question, though. Do I have any food on me? Do not have any food on me. Oh, John usually does it after he uh, finishes his work. Oh, okay. Cool. Let's grab some of these uh, fruits here in case we need them. There we go. I would like to see a message in the bottle. Message in a bottle. Then we can find this, like, uh, crazy fish that they're talking about. And also do this. Throw out. Because I do want to get some fish into the museum as well. I haven't seen any, like, I don't know how to, like, or go about harvesting critters in the ocean. Like, <laughs> I, <laughs> like, what if I did this? I don't know if this is a good idea. Yep, that's a bad idea. He's upset. Okay, he doesn't he doesn't hurt me though. It's good to know. But he like totally like uh had a notification over his head. He's like, whoa. Is that a butterfly I don't have? I think that is a butterfly I do have. I'm gonna hunt for this turkey too. Hey turkey. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Perfect. We need more food. Oh, I'm sorry. Just, like, pin you to the wall. <laughs> there we go. Nice. All right, so this should be somewhat of the north, right? Let's see where we're at. Somewhat of the north. This is the ocean. And it does want us to fish during the day. So there must be some kind of uh, fish out here. Would this be considered all the way north? I mean, I guess we could go to the very tippy top. Hey, you know what? We could actually accidentally possibly run into a tower out here, too. Hey, yo. 
So now I'm kind of like more motivated to head to the tippy top. Oh, Jesus. They're back. There's so many of them. There's like five of them. I love how like they're like the uh, they're definitely like the main enemy in this game. It feels like right now. Whoa, look at all this back again with all of the shells. Oh my Lord. Just spammed over. Holy moly. That's kind of cool. That's going to be useful. But I want to try to see if I can catch this fish. I think I am technically up here, though. Yeah, I am at the, like, one of the northern parts. Northest parts of it. Here, throw that in. I don't see a fish out there, though. Oh, I see fish way over there, though. Yeah, let's see if we can do this. Oh, there's a fish right there in front of us. Let's get the one in front of us. Here we go. Concentration. Nope. Yep. There we go. Oh, you need the boat? Is that right? Is that how far away it is out there? This is going to go straight to the museum, by the way. Whatever it turns out to be. A blue spot, flathead. Nice. Cool. Take that. There are fish way out there. So that was the first time we got that blue spot. Oh, I see. I see just jellyfish. Yeah. If we need to go. Oh, there's a fish right there. If we need to go out there. What the heck is that? Is that the critter? Hang on a sec. Or is that a fish? No, okay, that was a fish. That was straight up a fish. Yeah, the boat would be handy. I just love how much seashells there are out here. They might not, like, be a lot, like, money-wise, but it's cool to see, regardless. And good to, like, pick up and sell. Ooh, there we go. There's, like, a dragonfly. We need that. Here we go an emerald dragonfly oh we also need this too there we go all right let's see if we can collect all of this oh there's a little little fish right there too in there nope 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 there's a couple fish that looks like a catfish yeah that looks like a catfish i'm over here no 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 what are you doing right here Come get this bait, please. Just be patient. It's fishing. You got to be patient. Oh, you got critters from the rivers, not the oceans. Okay. Got you. Yeah, I think this is a catfish. This has to be a catfish. It looks like it. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Come on. This is going to the museum as well. Oh, come on. No. Don't get stuck on the shore. Oh, he's getting stuck on the shore, isn't he? Oh, no. Oh, dang it. We're going to have to get into the water. Um, I think he's going to be gone, though. Unless he wants to try it again. You want to come at me? Fall for it again? <laughs> he does. Okay. Fall forward again. I'll take it. I'll take you for a freaking ride, dude. Get it, get it, get it, get it. I don't think you might close enough. I better be close enough to the to the edge here. There we go. Thank you. Blue spot flathead. Nice. Okay, we are definitely tired. I don't know what Bella is barking at. I think she's lost her mind. I might have to go and uh Say hello. Hey, Bella. Why don't you come over here and tell me about it? Tell me what you see out the window. Tell me how many squirrels and how many chipmunks and how many turtles you might see out there. Turtles? Yeah, you heard me. Turtles. Grab all this. 
I can't walk away without having, like, picking up these shells. I really can't. Go. Very good. I feel like it would be just like a waste of money. Okay. I think I have both these butterflies. I'm not too worried about that. I don't think I have what's up there. You saw that. I think it's a fly. I don't know. I don't see it now. No. Oh, I didn't even notice you down there. Ha! Ah, you coward. You can't jump, can you? That's what I thought. I didn't even notice, dude. He snuck up so bad. Let's get some legs here. Nice drumsticks. Oh, dude, he's pissed. He's super mad. He's like eyeballing me. Don't fall, don't fall. Ah, uh, there we go. He might be upset too that I'm like hunting uh, turkey. <laughs> I'm taking his kills, man. Go. Okay, grab some more of that. Everything Hunter. I guess it's a license we can get ourselves even more acquainted with. Maybe a better hunting license. Not a trapping license, but a hunting license. Go this way. Okay, let's try to make our way back home now. Uh, did not see a, um, a, a, a tower, which I was... Kind of like hoping to see. Did not see a tower though. Got more. I, I I just can't. I can't help myself. <laughs> I can't help myself with these shells. As long as a shark. It's a jellyfish. As long as the shark doesn't come and get me. Okay, let me see if I'm going in the right direction. Slightly going into the right direction. Let's come a little bit down here. There we go. I heard it. I heard it. Yep, there it is. Gotta catch it. You can barely see it. Is it a fly? It is a fly. Is there any other insects that I need to get here that I need to donate to the museum? Not another fly. I'm not doing the other fly. Dude, these guys are everywhere. Okay, there's there's that there's that I think those butterflies we've had let's go this way we don't want to walk into the wrong hood yeah they definitely own that area there and I'm glad we took over their island earlier today where we said you know what this is where our museum will go this is not where your nest will go <laughs> We, we took authority. That was like the first thing we did today. Okay. Let's see if Theodore's still there. Hopefully Theodore is there. I don't know if Theodore is there like 24-7 or what his deal is. We'll take a look. Ah. There you go. Yeah. Welcome to the museum. What can I do for you? I have a bunch of donations for you. Oh, what have you brought me? I got a lot, dude. I got a lot. First thing you get is a fly. <laughs> Oh, a fly! How incredible! For my collection. Will you be donating that? Yeah, I will be, actually. Hey, Darren! Happy Friday, everyone. Very big ups. Big ups indeed. Thank you so much for the 20 Super Chat. That was very kind of you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Cheers to that. Big ups. Uh, Antonia, Antoniette says, Thank you for helping me with the fish. Explain it. Explain it. We uh, explain it real well. Real well things. Hopefully, if what I read is, um, maybe I helped you with the fishing, right? Did I help you with the fishing on that? Because if I did, uh, no problem. I have another donation. Yashiel says, midnight on this side of the earth. Uh, bye, everyone. You take it easy, Yashiel. Hope you have a wonderful, uh, good night. Uh, take it easy. Make sure to take care of yourself. Uh, we will go here with the freaking spider bug. I don't even know what that is. It's not a spider, I don't think, but it's a bug. Uh -oh. Even Bella says big ups. In indeed, yeah, Bella does say big ups. Absolutely. <laughs> that was very kind of you, Darren. Yes, donate it. Your generosity is outstanding. Please accept a hundred. Oh, very good. Have another one. Uh, now I have a dragonfly for you. I wonder what happens when you actually fill the entire uh, museum up. 
I have another one. Take this blue spot. Our first, our first fish. Oh wait, we have two blue spots. Okay, so one for us and one for him. Ah yes. Yes, I will donate. Cool. Yeah, no, 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 no need to be sorry. I'm just glad that I could help you with the with the fish, uh, the fishing. Yeah. That's all. All right, that's all we have. So we have six insects, one fish now. I would like for me to go into this and uh, let's see. Oh, look at that. They're all in there. They are all in there. <laughs> How cool is that? Nice. And then the dragonfly is over there. And the little uh, crawly bug thing. Yeah, very well. Watching this while playing Roblox with my son has saved my sanity. I love my son, but uh, boy, do I hate Roblox. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> glad to, glad that I could, you know, we could save some sanity. <laughs> Can't imagine what it's like to have to have the patience to sit there and be like, "You want to play Roblox? Let's let's play some Roblox." <laughs> you know, look at that. There we go. Got our blue spot in there roaming around. Very cool. Our first fish. Nice. Cool. So it is past six. So John is not going to be able to uh, buy anything from us right now. But maybe in the morning. Actually, is it Sunday yet? No, it's Friday. Friday. Okay, Friday. Rain will eventually leave. As in rain, as in the person rain. Uh, yeah, good day, good day. All the above. So that will be that. We have a lot to give to you, John, here soon. Just be ready, buddy, old pal. We now have the wheat growing. Tomatoes with the wheat. And uh, 7 p.m. Let's go to let's go to bed. Call it a day? Yes, yes. Maybe finally turning the corner with the upper respiratory virus thing, possibly back to normal on Monday, maybe. Oh, very good. And I did read the I did read all of your uh your I don't want to say it, your it, the the issue, but the um the uh, debacle in the Discord earlier with the uh, with the whole uh, uh, the doctor and, and and all that and trying to like take one on you there that I'm glad you said something I'm glad you confronted uh, the doctor for sure not sure if Roblox or Fortnite irritates me more at least with Roblox you have a variety of different things you could do I guess right. That's the only... I'm, I'm trying to pick up uh, s uh, sticks and stones there to try to make the situation sound better. <laughs> uh, we'll put the fence in there. Alright, John. We have a lot for you, buddy. So, um, 95k. We can actually... If we get 95k, we can, we can build up our new house and get a brand new house in, too. Yeah. Hello? Hello, John. Would you like to do anything? Yeah. Uh, no, do you need something, my good man? I've noticed you got five sand dollars on you. I would like to buy them for 120. That sounds like an insult. Thank you so much. That's not what I wanted to do today for you. I'd rather have something else, but whatever. I'll be coming to your shop later to sell even more. Hello, Fletch. What can I do for you? Uh, let's chat. Need anything else? You have log and license? Uh, two palm wood planks. I can do that. I'll do that. And then, anything else? So, uh, let's see, 1,200 points. Maybe I can get away with it. Uh, 1,200. There's the vehicle license, the pilot water vehicles. The windmills, tool belts, cargo, handling. We're not even, like, we, we haven't even bought, like, the chooks yet. Let alone trying to buy the vombats. The vombats. Um, trapping, maybe advanced trapping is the way to invest. Let's do that. There we go. Trapping license level two. Animal trap. Catch some stuff. Now that definitely looks a lot bigger and badder, right? That is a big guy. Okay. Um, 95k. Maybe I can run with 95k here. Do I have any um planks? I think I do in my house. Let's get some planks for her as well. Oh look at they finally grew. They did. Oh, how good. We have the, the, what are they, the Guadongs? The Guandongs? They finally have now uh, produced a yield. Very good. 
Oh, that's so good. Now the next thing is like the bananas and the apples. It took a long time, it felt like, but hey, we got it going now. Very cool. Hello, John. Uh, let's sell you a bunch of things. My part is on rant in the drama with the doctor. Yeah, I don't like airing dirty laundry, but I needed to vent. Cranberry orange Belvita crackers are awesome. In case anyone wanted to know, cranberry orange Belvita crackers. Now, I do like Belvita crackers. I didn't never knew there was a cranberry orange Belvita cracker. That's kind of crazy. We're going to sell them all the shells and the fish. Not the wire, because the wire is hard to come around. So I'm going to hold on to the wire. Old spring also, that's easy to come around. All the other stuff can go. This can go. Slate can mostly go. Gum log, we'll hold on to. And, uh, yeah. Where does that take us? 16k? I'll take it. There we go. I think the next thing I kind of want to do is get the barbecue rolling. Yeah. There's the barbecue. There's the torch light. The manual, the machine manual. I think I want to get the barbecue. Let's get the barbecue. That will be 34,000 for the barbecue. Very good. Thank you for your purchase. No problem. Thank you for your service of providing us with these awesome tools. There we go. All right. So, the barbecue. Shrimp on the barbie, right? There we go. In this case, we're putting this on there. So, this should cook it a lot faster, yeah? Should. Keyword. Should. Put those both on there. Oh, my God. That was fast. <laughs> yeah, so it definitely is faster. Nice. This spits it right on out of there, doesn't it? Awesome, awesome, awesome. So that cooked about two. Two, what that one could do over there on the campfire. Nice. Very, very good. Love to see that. Nothing in our trap, right? Yeah. Nothing in our trap at all. But uh, I feel like that's going to be something we need to kind of like work on our own. That better be the best damn barbecue for 30... <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Best barbecue of all time. Should be. You know what I'm going to do? I'm actually going to uh, take some of these palms out by over here. Yeah, I'm going to take this out. This seems like it's kind of intrusive. Very much in the way. I might actually think about building stairs up to my place. I know that would make me feel all fancy. But I don't know. I feel like I consider myself the mayor of this town. <laughs> Is that wrong for me to do? I don't think so. Go. Yeah. Maybe do something like that. But throw those up there. Cool. And uh, yeah, the palm wood. Because we <clears throat> we only need two for Miss uh, Miss Fletcher. So we'll grab a couple of those. Nice. All right, Fletcher. Fletcher, keep thinking. Every time I hear, I think, uh, uh, I keep thinking of uh, Liar Liar, Jim Carrey. Fletch, Fletcher. Okay. This is for you. Two palms. Yes, yes, yes. Give me a dresser. Give me something. Give me a couch. Give me uh, some shoes. What are you going to give me? You gave me a money. You gave me money. All right. I mean, it wasn't that much. But I really didn't have to give that much effort for you anyways. So yeah, let's see if we can start constructing a little bit on maybe possible stairs to kind of clean up this area for ourselves. Um, I kind of want to... Yeah, I kind of want to increase that width of the pathing as it goes up, right? If that makes any sense. We'll do that. There we go. Throw that over there. Now, I don't know how steep or where I want to actually start the stairs for going up here. I am trying to make it somewhat uh, fluent as far as, like, in the future. Like, kind of keep it, like... Because, I, I, yeah, like, these up here, this is definitely on a different level. Which, eventually, I'll probably have to wear, like, not wear, but build stairs up to that level. You know, during a pathing thing that we, we build in the future. But, that's alright. One piece of stairs, not too bad. Grab this. And then we'll throw that there. Oh, look at that. There's treasure right here. Oh, very good. There you go. 
had treasure there this whole time. All right. So, let's get rid of that. Let's make a little bit more room. There we go. Add a little bit of this. Okay. I think... Uh, I'm thinking of actually cutting into this a little bit. I might want to just make it too wide. How do I want to do this? I think I want to make it too wide. Come up to here. Come through down like a path. Um, yeah, that, that seems okay. Yeah, too wide. We'll cut through that. We'll try to make it somewhat... I don't even know what to do with the excessive dirt here. Guess we'll kind of make that come forward a little bit. And then we'll start it off here. So from here, we want to go there. There we go. I'm trying to line it up with the door. The only problem is that if I line it up with the door, we could be looking at a potential... Uh, well, when the tent upgrades into a house, that could be a problem. That I probably would have to address later on. There we go. The game reminds me a little of Dragon Quest Builders 2. That's what somebody said yesterday as well. Kind of reminded them of uh, Dragon Quest Builders 2. I've never played that game. I've never played that game myself. There we go. Kind of cut in here. And fill out there. Not what I wanted to do. Oh, was that you that said that? Oh, Jefferson. Okay, very good. Very well. <laughs> there we go. All right, all right. So chop down this palm tree, even though I really liked it. I digged it. It was cool. You know, I thought I was uh, uh, a total badass for having all the palm trees up here. Uh, now look at me. Now it's all gone. Okay. Push this through. Push this through as well. And there. All right, so it's kind of a straight shot. It's going to be weird, but I think it will do for now. I mean, this is no problem either. Like, even not having stairs, you know, it still is fluent. I kind of want to get rid of this, though, this, like, extra hump. Yeah, we'll get rid of that extra hump. Dragon Quest Builders 2 is a great game. I played it on Switch years ago. It's on Game Pass, and it's a beefy. It has a beefy main campaign. I've heard great things about it. Um, there was another content creator, I think last year or so, uh, that talked to me. Uh, that I remember her. Men men she mentioned. Um, she mentioned Dragon Quest Builders, and she played Dragon Quest uh, Builders on her channel. Uh, but she said like it was like like top tier, like one of her top games in that. Uh, it kind of like kicks, uh, kicks, uh, sorry, <coughs> <coughs> kickstarted her, um, her channel, which I found kind of interesting. There we go. Okay. <clears throat> I like it. It's, it's more clean, but I don't think I've sold myself on the stair part. So I guess F the stairs for now. So be it. There's this I want to get rid of, because this is kind of in the way. Uh, I would like to maybe clear out some dirt here, but I don't know if it's really necessary to do so yet. Black wood seed. So that's a black wood tree. That's the first time we've ever cut one of those down. Let's get one more, maybe. The AAA quality game, in my opinion, it's deceptively deep. Was there, okay, so it's, there, there was a first one, right? Because it's obviously Dragon Quest Builders 2. How was the first one like? Okay, so let's see here. What happens if I go like this? Get that going. Get some hardwood planks rolling. We can really start thinking about building bridges, too. There we go. <laughs> I could hold on to these seeds. I could replant if I wanted to, replant the trees somewhere else so that we could have hardwood actually growing. 
uh, in the back here. I guess so. Let's do that. Let's 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 plant replant these trees. So we'll do that. Replant the trees. There we go. We'll just randomly place them. Doesn't really matter where they go. Might be running out of energy here. Nope, I'm good. Never mind. Kind of throw them in a little bit deeper. There we go. The first one was good. The second one was great. Ah, I like to hear that. Knowing that the first one was good and then the second one was great. So you can't go wrong with kind of, I guess, both of them, right? Now, does the campaign line up to where, like, there's a story where you learn about uh, the first game? Or, sorry, you, you go through the first game story and then it connects to the second game? Or is it, like, their own kind of uh, different stories, so to speak? We're going to actually harvest a little bit more stone. While we have the energy to do so. Let's grab our green thumb there. Cool. I never played the first one. The reviews all said the second one improved on the first uh, Dragon Quest builders. So much that it's not even worth playing the first. Number two is so superior. Is that right? The stories are entirely separate. Oh, okay. Um, in Dragon Quest builders, the way you build and decorate a building determines its use. So if you want a pub... You have to build a pub. Ah, is that right? That sounds kind of cool. So it's like a, so in, in a sense, right? It's like an empty shell. And then how you make that shell look is how that shell operates. Is that right? Is that iron? No, it's tin. It'd be nice if we could find iron randomly or a shiny rock. Give me a shiny rock on accident. Oh, yeah. We should probably harvest some uh, stone for sure. Let's go ahead and uh, do this. Bam, bam, bam. Bam. Just not all of it. Just a little bit. Oh, we did get a shiny stone. Very good. Maybe we can randomly get a... Um, let's actually get rid of that. This is kind of tacky right now. Uh, maybe we can get an iron out of that shiny stone uh, randomly. I guess it wouldn't, wouldn't matter if we got a random iron ore, because then we're going to need five anyways. Dragon Quest Builders 2 is essentially a Zelda game and a Minecraft game rolled into one. That's kind of spicy. The story of Dragon Quest Builders is it's is it's the bad ending of Dragon Quest, where you just join the evil overlord. I wonder why I've never uh, really found myself playing that game. I feel like maybe I don't want to blame like marketing or anything like that. Like, oh, it wasn't really like like not a lot of people played it. So like the word never spread around it because I don't want to blame that. But I never really uh, like when it first came out, I never never knew about it. Never like got into it because I didn't know what it was about. And like the first game, right, the first game I would have to assume did not get a lot of attention at all. But that's my assumption. Let's see here. Um, let's go out on the beach again. How much time do we have? It's 3 p.m.? Okay. 3 p.m. We'll keep uh, scrounging and, and doing the whole, like, treasure. Grab the old wheels. Always be prepared, right? Remember an old PlayStation series called Dark Cloud that tried to combine an adventure and town building game into Dragon Quest Builders 2? Does this, uh, but does it even better? Dark Cloud. I've never heard of that game. Is it an older... Was it PlayStation 1? PlayStation 2? Dark Cloud. I kind of want to go to the south, too, and get to see if there's any, like, new birds or butterflies or anything like that. Not birds, but bugs or butterflies. I would love to have a freaking kangaroo, dude. <laughs> oh, is that a bee or is that a fly? Let's see what this is. We'll catch it. It's a fly. Gosh darn it. We don't need a fly. I guess we could sell a fly to John. I remember John wanted us to get a fly yesterday. Yep. 
Okay, there's our is that that's our portal, right? That yeah, that's our tower. Okay. I'm trying to get my bearings here so I don't like accidentally accidentally go the wrong way. Might as well pick up some uh, might as well pick up some tin while we're out here. Because we are running low on tin, believe it or not. See if there's any more over here. Doesn't seem like it. Nope. Dark Cloud series started on PS2. Dark Cloud is a good game on PS2. Oh, hey Norman, how you doing? Dragon Quest is a niche to begin with, so Dragon Quest Builders wasn't marketed a whole lot. The people who were going to get it uh, got it. Also, I think the first was locked to a specific platform, really. Dark Cloud 2 was amazing. I loved golfing. <laughs> okay, let's throw some of these in there if we can. Do we have enough tin to do so? I don't know if we have enough tin. I don't think we do. Oh, yeah, we do. Nice. Cool. There we go. Insert that. Cool. Just enough for one, uh, one ingot. Anything we can cook here? Uh, nothing worthwhile. <laughs> can you cook a fly? Probably not. Actually, no. <laughs> I'm not going to. Can you eat fish in this game? I don't know if you can eat fish or not in this game. I wonder if Dragon Quest Builder series is more popular in Japan. Yeah, that was just a series I never, uh, I never played just because <clears throat> it was always... Well, one, it was like... I felt like, one, I never knew about it. And then two, it was always like a, when I finally knew about it, it was like, oh, it, it was already out for so long, it already been too late. You can't eat fish. That's a little bit of a downer. Oh, shoot, dude. Did I water my plants today? I did not water my plants. Holy crap. That would have sucked. I can't wait to see what these tomatoes look like. I got, I, I'm telling you. After going so many days in this game without having crops, I I'm going to have to get used to watering my crops every morning. Nope. Yeah, let's throw some stuff in there. I mean, the ultimate goal, I think, right now, would be it would be really, really nice to, um, to get... Uh, get. I think it would be really nice to get... <clears throat> 95k and maybe upgrade our house and be like the the baddest person on the block type thing jenny on the block for sure throw that stuff in there seems good okay for that all that stuff oh no take the shell we will sell the shells I feel like I should be selling more of these parts, but no, I could. You know what? I could. I could sell these parts. Some of them, not all of them, because um, we are having a quite a bit of load on on most of them. Like if I split, if I split the tires in half, I could do that. Split the gears in half, I could probably do that. I'll take all the contraptions because right now we don't like need anything for a contraption. I'll leave the uh, green board in. I'll take the uh, keyboard. I'll take the headphones. Um, I'll take half the bulbs. We have a lot of springs, so I'll take like a nine stack of springs. And these things that we will sell. Key in there. There we go. Yeah. Nice. Uh, ooh, John is still open though. Let's see if we can catch him before he closes up shop. Hey, John. Is there a nighttime fishing where, like, the fish do only come out at night? Uh, kind of like where Animal Crossing, where daytime fish, you get certain species. Nighttime, you get certain species. Is that in this game, too? Does anybody know that? So good. Japan has a nationally, national holiday when Dragon Quest gets released because so many people call out of work. It's just easier that way. <laughs> there we go. Uh, keep the wire. I want to keep the wire. Keep the stone. There we go. Sell the fly. Do it. Let's see. 56. Yeah. Yeah, you best believe it. 95K is looking very, uh, 
very soon. For sure. 81. 81k. Very, very soon. I never once saw a, an ad for Dragon Quest Builders 2. I only found out from someone I watched on YouTube. See, that's kind of how I was feeling. I was like, I've never really, like, the marketing never hit my face for Dragon Quest. So maybe that's kind of maybe why I missed out on it, right? And then I felt like before you knew it, you, you know, when you did finally know about it, it was, like, all, almost too late. But some people, you know, ended up picking it up. Even though, like, now, um, uh, even now, you could say that, um, you know, Xbox Game Pass, Game Pass. You know, you can play it on Game Pass. It's console and PC, I think, right? Yeah. Go like that. Hey, sleep in for tomorrow. I found roaches at night. I'm sure there are there 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 are different fish. Okay. Yeah, I haven't found a roach then. So you find those at night. So maybe we got to do that. Maybe that's what the torch is for, at um, in John's uh, shop. The torch is for easier uh, going about the night type thing. Heading out on a s only small break. Training one of the new pharmacy residents today. Time to haze the greenhorn. <laughs> All right, Darren, you take it easy. Thank you so much for the super chat. Appreciate that. We're going to be wrapping up here in about mm, 15 minutes or so. We're almost on our four-hour mark. We're going to hit four hours here soon. We'll be wrapping up soon. Oh, my God, the tomatoes are here. Yeah. Sick, dude. The tomatoes are here. So this is our first, like, crop. That we've grown that we have awesome now the only thing about tomatoes is they only come in during the uh, fall and summer so very limited time wheat grows all year round love that oh uh, we need more water yo we should build a well yeah we should build a well very very cool very cool to see the tomatoes in i wonder if i can make anything with just the tomatoes probably can't Only tomatoes. Only tomatoes. Cabbage and tomatoes and onions. I could if I had that, but no. A meat pie. Raw meat flour. We don't have flour. Uh, fairy bread. I, again, I think fairy bread just sounds amazing in real life. I'm just saying. Like, sign me up. We could actually make fruit salad soon. We have uh, quandongs growing, which are already grown. Bananas. Uh, that are growing, apples that are growing, and bush limes that are everywhere just about. Hey, lady. Thank you, Lady Jinx, uh, for hitting that subscribe button. Appreciate that. Hey, the Hopper UK. Appreciate you hitting that subscribe button as well. As well. <laughs> Thank you, both of you guys, for subscribing to the channel. Appreciate it. Okay. Um, now then, what do you do with the tomatoes? Do you cook them or do you sell them? I don't know. I kind of want to keep them. Cooking some pasty. I will not be able to make any flour, my good man. So, Theodore, aim a little bit lower next time. Clover's back. Good to see Clover. Oh, dude, look at those rainbow shoes. Oh, I love the rainbow sneakers. Those look fabulous. <laughs> oh, those are kind of cool. And then we have, like, some pink shorts. We have a hat. That looks like Snow White's uh, dress. Ferris dress. Yeah, that looks like Snow White's dress. I really like those uh, rainbow sneakers, dude. I can mind pick those up. How much are they? 3,000? 3, 3,000 for the rainbow sneakers, you telling me? Maybe. Maybe. We'll see. No worries. No worries. Hey, Clover. Um, I want to chat. Oh, what do you want to chat about? What's up? Uh, do you think bush devil have soft fur? Um, try and bat one. No. Uh, I bet it is. You know, I think you're right. That's why they act all fierce and scary. But deep down, I bet they are big softies. Do I accept game tips? I do. I do accept game tips, yeah. I don't know if it would be worth streaming this after, far after release, but you should still play it for fun if it's not worth streaming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, exactly, yeah. There'll be a time. I, I plan on uh, streaming this at least just this weekend, um, and we'll see where it goes. But uh, there's there's a ton of other... Um, like, the next few weeks are going to be uh, pretty pretty busy on the channel. There's a lot of other games being released soon. Um, there's also a lot of... Uh, there's a lot of publishers and developers that are trying to reach out to me to 
play their game on the channel. There's a lot of 1.0 releases that are coming out soon as well. So there's going to be a lot of series that we uh, kind of go back into with 1.0s coming out on some releases. It's a very busy time. I don't know why all of a sudden publishers and develop well the developers and publishers all decided to release a bunch like a, a a group of games all at once here it's like the end of july and like the beginning of august it's it's super crazy and it's super busy but yeah hmm. all right clover you know what somebody said buy the rainbow sneakers i'll buy them take it take my money very good hmm. on the right side of john's shop there is a scale uh, when you cut down dark wood trees, they occasionally drop beehives. I recommend putting the hives on the scale in the shop instead of busting them. Okay, sounds good. Yeah, we used the scale uh, earlier today, but we didn't use it for hives. So I didn't know you could actually put it on hives. We've been using amber and been putting amber on the scale instead, but that's a good shout. Uh, is there anything that you want that I can get you? Any Need anything? Your vlogging license, yeah? Five mangrove sticks. I can get you that. Let's put on our new shoes, dude. Oh, look at that. <laughs> oh, I do like the rainbow shoes. They are pretty cool, yeah? Uh, pretty cool, pretty cool, pretty cool. Okay. Um, John, you should be in your store. No, it's Sunday. You should be out of your store. Is there anything I can do for you, my good man? And do you need anything? Logging license, I do. Six palm planks. I can do that. I'll do that. No problem. I think I have a couple just right into my house here. Did I water my crops today? I think I did. Very good. He remembered. Six, please. We'll just bring the whole stack with us. <clears throat> Hello, John. Uh, let's go ahead and give this. This is for you. Yes. Please give me something worthwhile here. Not like 600... Uh, 600 uh <laughs> dinks give me something cool a green lamp yeah i think that's pretty decent sure let's look into that a green lamp absolutely let's see we're actually kind of getting crowded in here i could bring the crafting table outside let's do that let's take the crafting table outside the green lamp <laughs> okay uh hang on a sec can i actually do something with this then can i put this on the dresser you think oh beautiful it's gonna clip through the tent but at least for now we have a a lamp on the dresser very good <laughs> very good very good <clears throat> Wow, your house looks so much better than the video I watched last night. <laughs> well, well, yeah. I mean, it depends on where you got to. It was a five hours, um, five hours yesterday, and then uh, uh, today we've already almost put four hours in. So yeah, we've done a little bit more today for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hello there. What can I do for you? Uh, do you have anything? Uh, need anything? Yeah. Much trouble. Blue moon butterfly. I mean, I guess I could potentially do that. No problems. No promises, though. No problems and no promises. Let's go talk to Theodore and see if Theodore has uh, has anything he wants to do. So we need to get Mangrove. Yeah, Mangrove. Blue Moon Butterfly. And possibly anything from Theodore here. I want to chat. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, what's new? Let's actually ask him. Let's see what he says about that. What's new? There's so many new species to study here on Canistopia. Oh, no. I don't mean I'm going to cut them open. Wait, I don't mean I'm going to cut them open? Here at the Cannes Tokyo Museum, we only study by observing. Oh, interesting. <gasps> no! Norman, are you serious? That is terrible news. Big Ambitions no longer says coming in August. It's to be announced. Oh my lord. And I've been looking for Big Ambitions to come out in August too. And that's 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 that sucks <laughs> but i don't know if that has to do with just development issues or just needs to like be ironed out a little bit more or if they don't want to release the game next to a bunch of all these other games because i'm telling you there's a ton of games coming out in the next couple weeks that we're going to be taking a look at uh, that is just so like it's, it's 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 a lot it's very much a lot three palm planks i actually have that yeah i have that right 
Yeah, I have three. Oh, plum, plum wood. Yeah, yeah, I have that. Here, right here, dude. I got it for you. That's sad, though. There you go. I watched about three and a half and went to bed. Okay, so yeah, there's there's been a lot that has been uh, uh, done since. Yeah, really owe you one. Here, take this. It's not much, but you'll like it. Pinstripe pants. I'm intrigued. I think I like it better than the camo, maybe. Yeah, kind of goes with the fedora. Yeah, for sure. Cool, awesome. Um, so let's go get some mangrove, I guess. Yeah, let's go get some mangrove. Or I think her name's Clover. Yeah, Clover. Clover the stylist. I don't want to get my uh, my rainbow shoes all dirty. Please don't get them muddy. <laughs> okay, there we go. Grab all this stuff. Wonderful. She needs five. And I think we have... Okay, we have four. Okay, now we have five. Very good. Ooh, what's down here? Is that more... St oh, 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 oh. Look at that fish. That's a fish we don't have. Uh, Pull out the fishing rod. Yeah, yeah. Oh, there's a couple fish. Yeah. Come on now. Hit it. Hit it. Hit it. Go. Let's go. That's a big guy. That is a very, very big fish. My lord. That's probably going to be like the biggest fish we've ever had. Come on now. Come on. We can donate this to Theodore as well. Come on. Come on. What the hell is that? A mangrove jack. Cool. I think there's another fish there too. That looks like a different kind of fish as well. It is a different kind of fish. Maybe he'll get that too. Come on, buddy. Come on. No, no, no. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah, 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 yeah. I see the bobs. Go for the bobs. Okay, here we go. There you go. There you go. Let's go. <laughs> it is funny. It is a funny game. I don't know. The whole fishing thing. It's, it's very basic. It is very basic, but um, it is like, you know, hell of a spam. Finger spam. Oh, man. So yeah, a carp. That is definitely new to the museum as well. Very good. <clears throat> Will you show the fish room? I've seen the bug, but haven't seen the fish room. Yeah, sure. Let's, let's check it out. I'm gonna go donate these two fish anyways. Let's do it. So we have six uh, bugs, and we have one fish right now. We're gonna make that three fish. There we go. Welcome to the museum. I would like to give a donation. What do you have? Mangrove Jack. Yeah! He's excited. Still want his glasses, though. I will donate that. Thank you. 100. Thank you. I have another donation. I have a carp. Yes. All right. Very good. That is all. All right. Let's go take a look. Boom. Look at that. Oh, look at him. He's so big. He's looking good in there, though. And then uh, you can actually read them if you want. Read the signs and be like, oh, in this exhibit, it's the carp, right? And then this one is the mangrove, right? The mangrove, Jack. Oops, I did not mean to do that. Where's the third one? Oh, the third one's over here. Yeah, this was the um, the blue spot flat head. Yeah, very cool, right? Very cool. I always think of like the um, the fish tanks and it kind of reminds me of uh, when we played uh, Moonglow Bay. I think that's what it was, right? Mo Moonglow Bay. That was fun. That was a while ago. And then we have our six bugs, butterflies, flies, dragonflies, and creepy crawlies rolling through. Yep. All right, very good. Uh, mangrove sticks. Yeah, we got to deliver the mangrove sticks now. Let's go do that. Go get our reputation built up with her. Hello, Clover. Uh, I want to... I'm like right in her face, and I... Uh, this is for you. Yes, I did. All right, let's go for that and give. Another another thing also to mention is that, uh, yeah, um, about the whole uh, playing this game all the time, right? Not uh, ideal, especially when the game is in early access. There's going to be more content that these that that's put out for this game in the future, and we'll definitely pick it up later uh, more. Um, you know, to to see where it takes us, um, content wise. 
It's not much, but I hope you like it. Thanks again. No problem. Green baseball cap. Oh, cool. I think I might like that better. Oh, I love it. It looks like a trucker cap, but that's all right. I was thinking of more of a uh, curved bill on that, but it's a flat bill. I don't know. Do I like the gangster hat better or do I like the, uh, the baseball cap? The thing with the gangster hat, the fedora, it kind of matches our striped pants in a way. Kind of, you know? <laughs> All right. All right. Very, 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 very good. Um, I kind of would like to have, well, you know, hang on a sec. How much money do we have? 77k. Yeah, I, I think I want to go and see if I can try to break that 95 barrier. There we go. That. That. I want to go towards the... I want to go towards the middle again. See if we can find more amber. If we can find more amber, that would be perfect. There's a crocodile. Come at me. You preferred the fedora? Same. <laughs> Same. The, the, the baseball hat, I think maybe, I don't know if it's the color, but my lord, it was like a lot, wasn't it? Old gear. See if we can bring some more contraptions back. Uh, get a little bit more money. This is perfect. There we go. And drop that in. There's bright wire. That's very, very good. I think we got lucky this morning, like earlier today. We must have got really lucky when we got those two ambers. Because they were like back to back and we haven't seen any since. Watch. As I as I say that, we dig one up. No. <laughs> there we go. Uh, the bio was uh, this one. This is like, this is the general area where we found the ambers in. Yeah, it was this like uh, clay looking uh, dark desert kind of thing that we have going on here. That's where I found the ambers last time. And they gave us a lot of money. Like I, I, I feel like they gave us about 30 to 40,000 each, right? Each. Oh, there's a lot of discs there. That's good. Bright wire, that's nice to see. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Oh, you found uh, amber in the sand also? <laughs> so I guess you could find some, uh, I guess maybe, maybe it's not a bio, uh, maybe, maybe the biome doesn't matter for the amber. Maybe it could be anywhere. It's just like a chance of digging it up. What the heck is that over there? Some meat? And a bone? I'll take it. This visibility thing, though, is really nice. <laughs> I mean, if you are like, if you like going out and you like digging the treasure and, and getting the, getting the stuff, definitely invest into the visibility license, the mining or the, what is it? The uh, metal detecting too. It will save you so much time. I was wondering how you were seeing with them without a metal detector. I know I see the weird X. I was like, dude, he's a magician. <laughs> yeah, there's a uh, if you do your uh, metal detecting licensing level two, you get this thing called uh, visibility and you get to see the little X's. Now, you won't see the little X's unless you unlock that level 2 metal detecting. Yeah. You gotta make sure you unlock that first to get it. But also, I am a magician. <laughs> it's not biome specific? Okay, that's a good shout. So yeah, I guess maybe not biome specific, maybe just a chance of it showing up.
Yeah, how did you get the vision for the X's? That was the, uh, that was the, uh, metal detecting. Yeah. Metal detecting. License. It is getting a little bit darker. Oh, baby. Look at all those dingoes. Dingo, baby. Look at them. They're so cute. The tongue coming out and everything. Yeah, bark away. You deserve to. You deserve a nice bark. I'm going to pick up some of these uh, bottle bushes, too. I know we have some and we can plant some. Uh, but, you know, more the merrier, right? We'll plant some back at base, you could say. Base. Back at settlement. Start bringing those into our, our place. Because there was a time where John asked for, like, 29 of them. And we only had three of them. Oh, look. There's more apples. How neat. There we go. More apples. More creepy crawlies. I'm getting so sidetracked now. I'm like, we haven't really discovered a lot of the south region of the map. But I don't want to get too ahead of myself here. All hail the magic conch. <laughs> <laughs> Do I have a keg yet? I don't. I Well, I have the recipe for the keg. I just haven't built one. Uh, only because I don't have... Um... Oh my god, I hate how loud that is. I'm sorry. Um, I just don't have iron to build one. But I do have the recipe. And also, um, we haven't gotten the deed yet. And I'm not sure now. I thought we were going to be able to get the deed for the mining after we built the museum but i have i'm having a feeling that the game wants us to build up our house first and then we'll get possibly a deed for mining i don't know unless i need to talk to fletch again maybe she uh she has it ready for us and we just weren't notified about it i'll have to see all right we're heading back to the base and back to the town after mining level two so go mine mining some more oh okay okay so hang on a sec let me just take a look um are you talking like level mining two as in like you might be talking license right yeah license level two not the actual skill right Iron is in the big white rocks. When you get uh, the next mining level through leveling up the mining, you'll get the license open to purchase. Okay, so maybe I should just focus more on mining then. Okay, you have to open the skill. Okay, all right. I see now. Oh, the shop is only open for like seven seconds. Get me in there. Get me in. Oh, it's Sunday. <laughs> it's Sunday. Oh, you freaking moron. <laughs> okay. Put some freaking meat on the Barbie, dude. There we go. <laughs> it's very quiet. The music kind of just like dropped. No more music. What the heck happened? All right. Oh, we have mail. Fletch. Uh, you've been working hard and I'll tell you what. It hasn't gone unnoticed. Oh, my God. <laughs> Uh, because you've been increasing your skills, there is a new level of mining license available to you. Jesus Christ. <laughs> there it is. We've got it. Hooray. Oh, my God. Look at all these cosmetics. <laughs> Camo pants. Yeah, I'll put those over there in the corner, I guess. <laughs> um, And then the rest of the stuff, I guess we can go. Uh, we can sell. We can sell and use. We can sell and use. That's what we'll do with the rest of the stuff. Yes. Now we can lay down. Call it a day. Sleep until tomorrow. Absolutely. Do stars come out at night? It doesn't seem like it, no? After leveling up your mining, you'll need to... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, purchase the mining license. I enjoyed the excitement followed by immediate despair. Much beautiful. 
Big Ambition says it looking like quarter four of 2022 or possibly quarter one of 2023. They went from two people working on the game to five. So they increased the development of the game and then they said, we're not going to release it early. We're going to wait till later and we're going to really flush it out probably. Awesome. Sad thing is, is that it costs 25k each time you go down in the mine. Are you serious? They said we changed our plans and now go for a much bigger, much deeper game, and that takes a little bit more time. Oh, well, you know what? That's a good way to delay the big ambitions. I like that. If they want to go bigger and better and have more people develop the game, more than twice the amount of people developing the game, that is actually incredible. That's awesome. I like that better than if they want to delay the game before that for that reason. I support that 100%. Uh, but, ladies and gentlemen, that is where we are going to stop it in today's episode of today's stream of Dinkum. We most likely will be picking this up back again up on, uh, what's today? Friday? We'll be picking this up again on Sunday, uh, July 17th. Um, if you want to uh, come through and uh, and play along more. Maybe tomorrow. I don't know. I haven't, it's either tomorrow, Saturday, or Sunday. Just uh, be aware that this weekend we probably will play this game one more time and see where we can uh, go from there. All the tips and tricks are always welcome, as you guys are are, are, are well aware. Um, I do appreciate it. Um, helping me out through is, is very good. <laughs> it's very good, for sure. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. Appreciate the support. Um, I want to say a special thank you to Waking Matthew, the drop in the si the 50 super chat, $50 super chat, and also gifting five people new memberships. Today, uh, we had five new memberships because of the gifted memberships. So that was awesome. Waking Matthew sent out five memberships to five lucky people uh, that got it. So that was very, very cool. Also, thank you so much to Darren for the super chat, the $20 super chat, and everybody else that subscribed throughout the day today. Really do appreciate that. Hope you guys enjoyed this. If you guys enjoyed this, uh, make sure to hit the like button. If you're watching this in the replay, if you're watching this not live, uh, hit the like button, commenting down below. All those things help if you want to say something, have something, anything like that. I do appreciate it. Would appreciate it. Always love hearing from you guys. Other than that, um, just expect more videos to come out from me every single day. Yeah. Um, and if you're new, we produce videos every single day. And we have a lot new. Uh, there will be more games coming uh, very, very soon. Um, I mean, there's the, 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 the change of tempo for games on this channel happens quite a bit. So you're going to get a variety for sure. We like to focus on... Um, Sim management, tycoon, and story-driven games for the majority, though, just so you are aware. Other than that, have a wonderful day, and have a continued great day. Love to see that. Thanks for the stream. See you next time. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Fungus Head, and thank you very much for the for the tips as well. Very, very generous of the tips, and taking the time out of your day to absolutely let me know on some things that I totally went over my head. And that goes for everybody else. Thank you all, and I will see you guys very, very soon. And do as always. Take care. She said we better off as best friends.